Welcome back, Beans and Rice audience. It's good to be back. It is March 8th, Tuesday. It's a butter pecan. Puerto Rican. Oh, so next to me, I've got... Jimmy Tatsumaki. Tatsumaki. And next to Jimmy? <laughs> I've got... Host Beefy. Six six, 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 six. The Demon Child. And then on the ones and twos... The ones you know, and twos. Not so uh, much of a wizard, you not know? Not the Omega at the oh, bodega, hell, but... No. <laughs> Alice, the original wizard of Oz over here. <laughs> Alice couldn't make it, you know? She couldn't make it. She had... Well, I'm not going to release what she had, but yeah, she just come can't on, guys. It. You know, <laughs> that's Bubble a guts. violation. You're not going to release what she had. Does she have a virus? Come on, dude. Hey, that's her business, not mine. <laughs> but we have Javi. Yeah, you we know? do have Javi. It's, it's just me. Bigger. It's not Alice. Sorry, guys. You know, and then we also got a couple of insurgents, two you know? esteemed guests, um, friends of mine. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. No, you go first. Ladies first. <laughs> Ladies first. Look yeah. at yeah. gentlemen. Yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. We thought chivalry was that. Quality. <laughs> Women That's appreciate your howdy. Well, <laughs> <laughs> how, how to do? I'm Anna. What does it rhyme with? Fuck you, Havana. 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 Fuck you, Havana. Because there's been a lot of Havana syndrome. Yeah. You know, uh, people that have been, you know. Shout out to Cuba. It's like the flu. Mm. The know? missile crisis. But yeah. I'm just like a banana. Yep. You're welcome, Joseph. <laughs> and next to Anna, Nico. You know? Yeah. That's a, Nico, and, that's you, it. and Nico, that's actually a very not important name in history. Did you know that? No, why is that? You your did your parents and they ever told you about one of the first Nikos in the world? You want to tell them, Moss? I can tell them. There was an Italian family named Nico, but it was spelled N-I-K-K-O. And they actually invented the battery. And contrary to popular belief, uh, part of the discovery of that battery was also due to the remote control, like antenna signaling. And I don't know if you've seen the brand of race cars called Nikos. It originated from Nico. So your name is very historical. I can't tell if this is an Italian family, but since they weren't wealthy, they lost the patent and what happened? Now it's free. You know? And now you can name your child that. Now the name's free. Yeah. yeah. But my name's spelled N I C O. Well, I know I said that. They switched it to Americanize yeah, it. They changed oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because you're, you know, back what if, what if it was Nicolo? Huh? Nicolo. Was that? Hey, you don't want to say that here? Come on, Russia. Be sensitive, man. Come on, dude. <laughs> Nicolo? Come on, dude. That's Italian. I thought you were Team Ukraine, you know? Yeah. Nicolo's Italian? Yeah. Is that what they told you? <laughs> yeah, that's what hey, they told me. You want me, you want me to, no, come on, Vladimir. You want me to Dude, that was the name of his quick? waiter at Buka de Bipa. <laughs> Freak of Vladimir's in Russia? Come on, yeah. man. You know? Or the NBA, Jokic. You know? But that's a beautiful name, you know? Thank you. I was a fan when he told me. Yeah. I had never uh, met a Nico other than in uh, elementary, you know? What about uh, Grand Theft Auto? I couldn't play those games. Dang. Yeah. Because I had I had seizures growing up and stuff like that. Seizures? Yeah, I can't say my C's. Is he yeah. making fun of me? Did you tell him else? <laughs> I didn't tell him, but now I, it's it's oh, it's there for the world to know. Yeah, I can't I can't say my C's either. He can't so say, say Z's or C's. So they just sound the same to him. So people think I'm saying like C, like yes, <laughs> sure, you know, C, sure, you know, <laughs> double C, yes, sure. yeah, that's that's double positive. Like, that guy's really polite. He's like, yeah. no, I'm not trying to play Grand Theft Auto. You know? <laughs> C, sure. His you favorite know? rapper is the bootleg JC. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, you know? Yeah. Jamal Crawford. Yeah. yeah. No? Okay. I didn't watch basketball. They don't They don't support... You guys don't su support no, watch, the like, uh, basketball community? We just don't watch much. We don't even have cable. No? Too many streaming services. But you can stream stuff illegally, right? Legally, allegedly, is what you don't get on there trying to watch Conor McGregor break a leg? Nah. The last fight that we watched was Saturdays. Yeah. Mas Vidal and Covington. And who won? Covington. Covington won. Oh, really? Yeah. Isn't he the one that's for America? Yeah. So were you proud that he won? No, no dude. No. Are they both no. Americans? They are. <laughs> They're super pro. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're super pro. <laughs> and actually, Javi, he's a Masvidal uh, impersonator because he kind of looks like him. If you guys like stare at him a little Back bit. Back in the day, I had long hair. Oh, okay. You I was like, tell some... <laughs> yeah. Some yeah. braids. So we would go, you know, we would go like to the mall and stuff like that. And then we'd be like, oh, Masvidal, Take pictures Masvidal. with me and... And then the next thing you know, we're, you know, eating a book at the Beepo for free, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because so Javi. The funny thing is they call Jorge Masvidal Street Jesus. Javi's been in these streets for the last, what, how many years, Javi? At least 30. At least 30 years. But you guys are from the married community, right? Well, hmm? Javi is. No, they're from the married community or no? Have them say. That's you what say I'm asking. married? Yeah. Well, oh, that's a know, question. When uh, Maybe most you're... decides to officiate. 
Hey, I we're said just, you guys have to give you. me the date. We're waiting. You, for you would let him be the pastor? Oh, yeah. absolutely. Oh, she asked that's me why he's to be. Do you have your license? Church. Well, I, I could get one. Pretty easy. <laughs> How long does that take, though? It's like 15 minute tests. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like a two hour course, I'd imagine. <laughs> I can't imagine it being very long. And How does, long? 15 minutes? I, I think, I don't know, maybe two hours. Don't you know someone who's a, an officiant? Yes. I'll, I can just ask What is it, an officiant? I don't know, isn't it? What's the what's the correct terminology? I don't know. A, a pastor? You don't think so? I don't I don't want to be a pastor, okay? No? No. Hey, I'm Catholic. Hey, yeah, dude, come on. I know, that's fine, so is Javi. I don't want to be a pastor. So your parents would be okay, so you're not going to have a Catholic they wedding? They don't care. Yeah? Because, yeah? like, come on, Catholic weddings are kind of creepy, you don't think so? I don't know if I've been to one. No? I've been to a couple, almost. <laughs> so have I. These last couple of years, and, you know, you see Jesus is there, and... He's crying blood. Actually, I went to. I think it was Hobbies. Was that yours when the cameraman didn't show up, Hobbies? Yeah. Damn. So, guys, yeah, so, dude, so uh, <laughs> make sure you guys up your money on the camera, people. Cause yeah, re up. Re up on that. Yeah. He got hit with a 50% cube on, you know? <laughs> but he found him at Victor's Tires. What did you expect, Hobby? Come on, dude. <laughs> they sell tires there. He had a sign that said, We'll do anything for money. For <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was trying to help the community out and it backfired. So <laughs> backfired. He found him at Home Depot. <laughs> but he ended ended up Actually, making. They were, they were white people, so I thought it was going to be the opposite. He you know? said, support local business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then he had me do the uh, camera work. You know what I mean? And, dude, I was so scared because... Oh, yeah, we had, like, three different, like, just in case for a backup. And he he was standing behind the priest. Yeah, and I didn't know you, I yeah, didn't know you, could, you couldn't be on the altar by the Lord, you know? <laughs> that I was getting too close to God. <laughs> and people were starting to get mad, you know? Yeah, you weren't ordained. You the altar boys were starting to look at me weird, you know? They're, they're getting a little I was nervous. just trying to get the right shot, you know? I was trying to save his wedding, you know? Yeah. And then the Lord was mad at me, you know? He, he tilted his head towards my side, you know? Because when I came into the church, he was looking one way. And then when I was on that side, he went like this. Nobody noticed. But th that's why you don't have to go to Catholic weddings, you know? Yeah. So what do you think you're going to do at your wedding? Have you guys planned anything out? No, I haven't. No? Just me. We're just like... <laughs> just just yeah. you. Yeah. And like some uh, Dave offering his backyard, right? Oh, yeah. We do have... That's about it. Venue. And that there will be a bar. Yeah. And we're all going to be drunk. Might go down to Colorado pick up some some trees for the backyard they're environmentalists okay yes. guys come yeah. on you know they're greenhouse gas uh, <laughs> what is it greenhouse gas eliminated green effect yeah you know? <laughs> the greenhouse effect you yes know? you ever been to their house i have you think they're smoking something or what no they're not no they, meat? they just plant trees you know <laughs> <laughs> and they all die <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't have green thumbs? <laughs> no. Uh, no. Dude, it's kind of hard sometimes not with plants. It's fucking hard. We don't have a lot of light in our condo either, yeah. though. Like, I got Anna a little succulent for uh yeah, he's thriving, whoa, right? valentine's and she's like he's, please don't get me this please don't thriving. get me this he's i can't little, keep this alive please don't give it to me he's got a little nub going on right now so the he's succulent? thriving yeah yeah so. that's like a demon in the catholic community too you know yeah, yeah. you gotta stop those during lent the succubus and yeah. the succulent you know relax you know <laughs> gotta get oliver to help us out oh god we'll well, oliver's a mexican by the way huh? he is a green thumb but yeah. do you guys think so maybe you want to since you know you're you might be having to rehearse you think maybe we can practice give it a practice shot as long as they're okay with it's their wedding go for it we've you want to give it a practice shot that we've already yeah, kind of it. discussed the the whole speech that host is about to give he's going to give a two-sided story oh so you already i mean there's been some some uh story some dialogue aspect of it oh, storyboard dang, not dude. nothing super detailed just I'm going to make people cry and laugh during both their stories. And then I'm going to, you know, basically have a communion about how they got to be there. So maybe right now, what we're, we're in Colorado right now, right? Sure. So did you invite me or no? Maybe okay. I just showed up, you know, because I was just plus okay. two. Yeah. You know? Okay. So I showed up and then, uh, can you tell me, so what's going on over there? A bunch of your family? You said a lot of uh, Greek people? Well, no, they're going to Colorado just to pick, to get trees plant, like get trees and they come back to Utah. Yeah, this is the decorations. We're we're talking like Colorado maple leaf, you know, tree. Bring it to the backyard. That's the decoration. So how are you gonna marry them? 
at the venue at the Dave's backyard. Yeah, well, that's what I'm talking about. We're in the we're, so we're what, in your backyard. The wonderful venue of Dave's backyard. <laughs> yeah, hey, Dave sounds like a good guy. <laughs> so okay. we're in Dave's backyard right now. Dave's that's what backyard, I'm trying to figure yeah. out. Okay. There's some little miniature horses to your right hand side. Ooh, a couple black couple beauties. Of, you think? A couple yeah. of chickens. You know, because that's that's the type of. Are they like donkeys or mules? Hey, watch they're out! Then yeah, we've got, got a some, couple Mexicans. I don't think they reproduce. They don't reproduce. No. <laughs> you make one of them and that's They're it. sterile. <laughs> you don't need to spay or neuter them, you know what I mean? <laughs> they don't need God to go through that's, the that's that's for you. <laughs> that's God, God does that for you. Control, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get you a real animal. All you idiots are going to the vets, you know? God. Get you a mule? Adopting. Just get some chickens. But how would you make a mule dog, you think? A mule dog? <laughs> yeah. Because, like, what would you mate a dog with so it wouldn't reproduce? He means like the equivalent of a male, like a mule of a dog. horse and a... You know how mules can't reproduce because it's a right. donkey and a horse? Because there's a donkey yeah. and a horse. Would, would like a fox and a dog, like a I don't know what a dog can dog. have sex with to produce something like that. Hmm. That would be kind of weird, huh? That would be kind of cool, dude. Sounds like we should experiment. Okay. <laughs> Not just a cat, a cat dog. A cat a dog. Cat dog. <laughs> <laughs> they made a cartoon heads about can't that. reproduce, right? <laughs> they, they made a cartoon about that. The that, thing couldn't shit and it died. <laughs> it's, septic like, shock. it's like human centipede. <laughs> <for you. laughs> it had septic shock. It died. So we're, you know, we got a couple of weird animals at your wedding so far, right? Yeah. yeah. And then we're, uh, they're going to sit us down, you think? I would imagine. Yeah, we'll have a bunch of cold. We're all standing because no, we'll <laughs> <laughs> I have to stand with you guys. Oh, so we have to stand too? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess. Okay, yeah. so everybody's standing. And then what uh, uh so a okay, pal. you guys what well, you guys are next to each other? And then maybe oh are we already up there at the altar? I'd imagine so. Oh yeah. Host is also gonna be knighting each and every single yeah. person that walks down that and some aisle. of you that are watching, even though I'm Puerto Rican and I'm holding a knife, so to speak, it's not racist. I'm a... what are they called? Officiators? Officiator, that's, that's what she said, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I don't know. An elder. an elder an elder you know El elder scroll you are my elder <laughs> <laughs> i am you i'm your elder as well i might be i think i'm older than I everybody you're here. everybody's elder okay hey. it's because he's so powerful i'm an he's old so soul i'm an old soul you know what i mean so we're gonna be there you think you're gonna make us are you trying to go for something that'll make you weep or something more joyful you think oh yeah it'll be a she'll cry this either is, way this is a sample <laughs> right regardless yes yeah, I, I want to cry you know because i'm at you the wedding cry, man Nico, he, he had, you know, they had the bar I drank a lot, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know? So I'm going to just maybe fast forward, because I'm not going to give individual backstories. I'm going to save that for the actual wedding. I think I'll just fast forward. So you already did that? They, they, they've or... met now. They've met, and I will say the thing before I allow them to kiss. Okay. Do you hear that? I get to allow them to kiss. Obviously. Yeah. They not don't kiss until I... No, you can't. <laughs> That's such good power. I love it. It's getting in my head. Okay. Which head? We're all there for you like an hour. Hey, come on, <laughs> hey, come on guys. Javi, zoom out of him, okay? Yeah. I did, I did. As soon as got he said that, I over here, the camera. You know? Hey, they need a tent Pervert. for the venue. But I gotta, oh. you want it to be super Lost sad, huh? Well, I just wanted to be, like, emotional, you know? Okay. Because I'm there, you know? Blah, 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 blah. In a time where both needed each other, but didn't know that they were bound to meet, they locked <laughs> eyes and realized that their hollow souls would be filled with each other's love. <laughs> we stand before you today... To witness the beauty that is the love between Nico and Anna. Yeah. You may now kiss the bride, Nico. Are you going to kiss the bride or what? Yeah. I don't see a Did you just put me off? <laughs> oh, oh, fuck, dude. Oh. She's like, this wedding's off. <laughs> they failed the role. <laughs> oh, it's a role play. <laughs> Could have had a beautiful moment we recorded. Wanted... You don't no, have a camera no, guy no, no we more. We have to have the whole, like, is there anyone here that sees that this wedly couple should not be together and then anna's like <laughs> <laughs> somebody <laughs> she, she wants that opportunity save me i didn't allow the public to voice their opinion i didn't this is a tyranny okay this is not democracy it was a russian wedding right? yeah so what do I <laughs> rush oh, this is <laughs> yeah. there's no fucking nato around okay <laughs> <laughs> but what they said to the host you know uh, we I don't almost know what got married. There you know? is. Yeah, we almost got married. Well, we didn't. You guys almost. Yeah, did. almost got married. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. We were pretty close. But what day is it today? March eighth. I don't know which holiday it is, but Javi, tell us. He's got a couple things. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. First holiday is National uh, Oregon Day. The Oregon no. Trail. <laughs> is there a national day for every state? Yes, I mean, it feels there like is. it. Yeah. Is Utah's the twenty fourth? Well, of July. That's pioneers. Okay, that's for Brigham Young, right? 
I mean, it might as well be just yeah. Yeah. National Day. It as might well, be, right? but I've, we've realized, I believe, and Hobby can fact check me. Almost pretty much every Tuesday is a new state holiday. We haven't failed that for yeah, almost no, every yeah. Tuesday. At least yeah. this year. Yeah, this last year. Last so- year, yeah, last year wasn't too much till like the end of the year. Oh, so that makes sense. Three sixty-five divided by seven. Yeah, so like about fifty. Look at this math whiz here, guys. You know, but Anna, you know, she said she's not good at geometry, but she's good at history. You know, very so good. That was her strong point. So, can you tell oh, us a little bit about the history of Oregon? Remember, you told us you went there. There was a couple of witches, the Salem, and you there know? was a really big trail. Can you tell us about the trail? And not the Trail of Tears. No. That's further uh, east. I don't know who you guys think I am, but there is no trail in Oregon. Oh, there's no trail? So we've been like to? We've been we lied told to. you guys she knew There is right? zero path. It's so there's no, there no, yeah. no, no trail in Oregon. Is so. this why the Japanese at Toyota invented the Pathfinder? Because there was no trail to find in Oregon. You're welcome. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Holy Oregon Trail. Oregon Man. Man. It's busted. It's busted. Okay. Thank so there you, really Anna. isn't a trail to Oregon? Absolutely not. So when you found out, what did it feel like? You know, so were you like trying to search for the Oregon Trail or were you guys camping, listening to country on your way over there? What was going on? Oh, definitely a little bit of country, a little bit of the devil's lettuce. So. Okay. Peyote? Peyote, 100%. The Sacagawea? Some, yeah. <laughs> some portobello mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they couldn't find up on you. Yeah. <laughs> They found Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> they were trying to find out what dimension they were in. <laughs> we had a we had a little couple of run-ins with some caterpillars and, and some Cheshire cats. Some Cheshire cats. And I scared them all away though. Oh yeah, the strays. <laughs> <laughs> they come right to me, and then Anna wanders over, and they run away. Dude, she There's booted nothing. orphan cats. Those cats had no home to go to, and you still didn't give them one. I. What's no like? remorse no remorse and she said she wanted yeah. animals in her wedding <laughs> <laughs> animals that can't reproduce <laughs> they can't have a legacy <laughs> it starts and ends with them what are they called Chimer- chimeras chimeras <laughs> what is that one chimera tops uh chimeras just a mix of a uh, animal breeds a mule is basically a, chimera. a hybrid isn't that what it yeah. is yeah. Like yeah. a Full Metal Alchemist with that girl in the dog. <laughs> yeah. I know that's where she was maybe trying to go with it. <laughs> want to play? <laughs> and then they blow her head off. She's like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, I want her at my wedding. <laughs> yeah. In case you guys have never seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, we just spoiled maybe five episodes in. You're welcome. Yeah, that's fine. I don't even know what the title meant. Yeah, it's okay. What was it? Formatious Optimus Split? <laughs> uh, Formatious Optimus Prime. So can you tell us about that? Yeah, so Optimus Prime. And why it affected Oregon? <laughs> no, I can't. That's, that's, that's too much. That's too much. I know. I know. You can spoil the story a little bit, you know. But what, what's Optimus Prime doing in Oregon? You know, uh, he's stepping on that. He's gas, trying to know? find the trail. Yeah, that Anna said doesn't exist. And he's doesn't on that exist. diesel, right? Yeah. How much diesel does he take? Optimus, uh, like to fill up his tank, you know? Especially now with gas prices. Oh, like he, 20 he's grams. On a diet. <laughs> no, 20 <laughs> grams. 20 <laughs> grams. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's less than a cup of coffee. <laughs> Optimus is trying to become a Prius. Right yeah, it's a different, it's a different kind of diesel. Prius. Optimus Prius. <laughs> he's trying to become his own hybrid right here. Yeah. <laughs> he's trying to get those tax cuts. <laughs> he's an asexual guy. Wouldn't Come that on. suck right now for the Transformers? You don't think so? Hmm? No, it would suck for the Transformers right now, you know? Nobody wants to give you gas. Yeah, it's a blood transfusion they need. <laughs> Do they? Yeah, they, would, like, imagine they wouldn't be able to live. Yeah, like, it's too expensive. A, yeah, Nico needs a blood transfusion. Like, <laughs> how much per hour? <laughs> He's like, fuck. I need a thousand gallons. Yeah. <laughs> My insurance isn't going to cover that. <laughs> And you need premium. We don't do premium. Yeah. <laughs> you can, you don't even get unleaded. No, I, you get yeah. leaded. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the unleaded, and it'll give me like five years left. Yeah. God forbid. Five of the worst years of your life. God forbid you're a fucking diesel. You know. What I mean? <laughs> that would suck, dude. It would suck. You know, dude. Transformers. What kind of lives do they live? Yeah. What do you think, Transformers? Like, you know, you get hurt. So let's say Transformers, because they they forgot about Transformers already, right? You don't see movies, the reboots. Yeah. There right. will be a Beast Wars soon, but they did forget I feel like about the, the last. The last one I saw, I had Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, it was like the last night. I think is what it was called. Was that the last movie? Mm-hmm. 
Because they're kind of bad for the environment. You don't think so, Transformers? True. <laughs> Not <laughs> good on. for the new age. All they're doing is just like... <laughs> they're going to they're gonna make a new Transformers series, but they're all going to be like hybrids. Yeah. <laughs> all like Tesla. Natural <laughs> gas transformers. <laughs> battery. <laughs> Solar charged batteries. That would be pretty cool. Wins, you know uh, Bumblebee is going to be a Tesla now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, who would so, so what would it be? be? Would it be a Tesla, a Prius? Optimus what would else? be that Tesla truck, that hideous thing. Oh yeah, huh. or the Ford Lightning. Wait, the new one? Yeah, the like Halo. <laughs> yeah, the one that looks like a Halo. <laughs> the what? Ford Lightning actually looks nice. No, no it does. That's why. Is that the one? No, that. Is the Lightning one is Mustang, cool, not the Tesla. It? No, the Mustang's different. The Mustangs. Have you seen? It that? looks like an SUV. Yeah, it's an SUV. The electric one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you guys want to go electric, or what do you guys feel about the? Uh... Not while we're at the condo. Cause we have to charge that shit. We have across the street at Smith's, we see like 10 Tesla owners every day, just chilling in their cars at like Nika wants to slap these little the charging stations, just chilling for like half an hour, an hour. I don't even know. And people waiting to get their spot at the charging station. That's oh, horrendous. That would be annoying, huh? Well, they can't plug it in at their house or, oh, they don't want to run. Out I'm assuming bill, huh? they can't cause they're waiting there for <laughs> 10 Dude, what other a people. Drawback. And here we thought Elon Musk was smart. Fuck you, Elon. God, because that would suck, huh? You got to sit there and charge your car? Yeah, that's what I'm getting It, it takes yeah. hours to charge it, too. It's not like a half an hour, now I'm at full charge. Yeah, half an hour might give you know. 40 they're miles. They're, if they're just that. all chilling in their car. I'd be doing Wordle. I don't know what else I'd be doing. Jesus. But maybe they work from their car, you know? Maybe. Like, imagine well, going to work eight hours, and I'm going to charge your Tesla, <laughs> <laughs> waiting half an hour, yeah. and then charging it for an hour. On the way back. Yeah. During rush hour. And then it's like the phone, the more you charge it, the less charge it holds. Yeah, you know like, I mean? it starts dying. <laughs> the, the longer battery. it takes to charge, you're like, fuck, dude. dude. He's really screwing everybody over. My Tesla's four years old, you know? End up charging it overnight. R.I.P. Yeah, let's hope they don't well. follow the Apple model, where they uh, just start hey, shooting the battery down after a year. Watch your mouth. With now the up thing, yeah, where they now. they update these Teslas and now the battery just drains even quicker. So is she getting triggered because she's an Apple supporter? Is she the only yeah. Apple owner here? Yes. Well, no, Javi's also an Apple owner. He's a fake one though. He doesn't <laughs> yeah. even know how to spell Apple. <laughs> yeah. Well, coincidentally enough, the next national holiday. Oh, look at his look at his <laughs> look at <him> transitioning. <laughs> is National Proofreading Day? National Proofreading. Yeah. And what does that mean? You're just like, that's oh, you a, got a document, you know? That's a stupid fucking holiday. <laughs> <laughs> it's for those English majors. They didn't really put their degrees to use, so now they need something special. You n- you, n- you never uh, been victimized by, like, proofreading? Nothing like Dude, that? Dude, I was almost in college. I was accused of plagiarism because I basically... Dude, it was pretty sketch. I didn't even know you. I didn't know that was a legit. And it was like towards the end of the year, but I, I was in computer science and we had to like implement an algorithm and I had no fucking idea how to do it. So I tried grabbing it online and like reverse engineering it, but I couldn't, but I submitted it just to see if it worked and it did. And it was the fastest time out of everyone. And I couldn't remove my submission. Mm. And so I ended up like a few days later, figuring out myself and submitting a slower one. But at the end of the year, my professor was like, this is plagiarism. Like I was about to not graduate. I'm like, bro, I did this like slower one after by myself. I couldn't remove this. This is a situation and it worked out, but I was like, you, you it was created- literally like after finals, like my senior year. And I'm like, I'm not going to lose my degree for this. You created a bot, you know, like the bots where you try to buy something off the internet, but they just ravaged the site. That's what you created. It was so fast true so if anyone if you've missed sneaker drops clothing drops <laughs> blame me yeah it's, it's his creation it's running rampant my one submission for this yeah. algorithm. <laughs> that was already on my <laughs> yeah. i've actually yeah plagiarism is so weird to me now because there's so many people that have access to internet you would think that there'd be honest overlap like someone's had whatever thoughts in your mind someone's already had it how yeah. is that plagiarism it's because this algorithm figured out what was in your mind dude come on it dude. thought ahead Dude, we're talking about, uh, you know, proofreading documents. He's proofreading algorithms. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's proofreading other people's computers <laughs> from the comfort of his own home. Here, I was going to say, one time I told a person, like, I can, like, assist you or something like that. You know what I mean? But I, I think I only put ass or something <laughs> and then spell, like, ass, you know, and then is, or, you know, I missed the word. And then I said that. I'm like, oh, damn. I can look ask for the it's customer. You. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah ask it's you. <laughs> There's the, at work sometimes I, I will type or attempt to type shift, but I omit the F. 
Uh, it's an accident, leave it. though, right? I, yeah, it's an accident. I don't like intent, but, but I it's leave it. it's an honest accident. Yeah, it's an honest accident, but I make no efforts to change it. Because uh, like, does that ever happen? Like, you transpose, transpose, like, two letters, and then it makes, like, so, something kind of naughty, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've actually, I can't think of the example at the moment, but I spelled a word incorrectly, and it sounded naughty to my coworker, and I left it for a little bit, just for him to see it, and then I changed it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see his reaction. Yeah. <laughs> so how? What, I mean, he's talking about the Matrix. I feel like, right? Uh, yeah. Neo. So what did he do? You went in there and like. So nah, you I, I just I just see the red and I'm like, all right, it's time to change it now. And you can change it. So what are you even altering? Reality or? No, nah, it's just teams. Oh, okay. Damn, dude. I thought you were talking like a text. You know, you send your. So couple... you change teams. No, no, no. The Microsoft teams. It was a joke. Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why well, Anna's leaving you at the altar. You change teams. <laughs> no. What team was I on before? Oh. Team women. Team Edward. Team women. Come on, guys. You know? <laughs> no, it's Team, team Jacob. Jacob. <laughs> Does that mean you're Team Edward? No, I just said Team Jacob. I'm Team Batman now. Team Batman. <laughs> the Batman. And Team Edward, they're actually from Oregon, right? Yeah. Uh, so the pine trees. The, that's why the trail was Did missing. you turn into Bella when Edward left? <laughs> <laughs> Just staring out a glass window as it rains for the next six months. Yeah. Uh, what's the song they play? Oh, the shit. Breaking Jars Heart songs. Who do you think you are? Um, running no, around leaving scars. Is it that one? I don't know. I just think yeah, that I don't think head. they have any of those on Twilight, dude. Hey, I watched. They got Papa once. Roach. What is it? <laughs> You know? <laughs> last resort. Don't put like, your name in the last whatever. resort for six months. <laughs> yeah. Staring out the window. <laughs> Papa Roach crisscross, apple cross. You know? Jump, yeah. jump. <laughs> hey, jump beware, maybe off a bridge. Who knows? <laughs> but what can you tell us about? Have you ever made any mistakes like that, Anna? You know, oh, in the past? Not. I'm Asian. I don't make those mistakes. You don't make any mistakes in the Asian community? Well, so you were a straight A student? Absolutely. Yeah, tell us about it. <laughs> 4.0. Dang. All the way till the now it's funny. Um, I'm sure I have. I just can't think of any right now. I feel like I fat finger a lot of things anyways, and I kind of just... Watch it. No yeah. body shaming here. Yeah. It's fat. 2022, we don't fat shame anymore. <sighs> you know... You just fingered it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have yeah. fat fingers. So, so like, I'll fingered. say it for you. <laughs> hey, it's also 2022, okay? You can sexually express yeah. yourself any way you want. I prefer to use my toes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an amputee, okay? <laughs> I'm an amputee. <laughs> Imagine getting calluses on your nubs. How do amputees text? Maybe they just do the swipe they thing, They just huh? do voice text. They become like really uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> with your nose. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do that now. Like you know, <laughs> when you're too lazy to text or something or you just do it with your phone. nose? Yeah. What? <laughs> you're like hungover in the morning. <laughs> don't admit that, Javi. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we don't get Apple phones, guys. This is why you know you think you're getting your shitty text when you didn't proofread? Yeah. It's a nose text. Yeah, it's a nose text. You know, probably, my nose is too small. You know, I got a little bit of a do I say, mostly nostril, you know what I mean? So I couldn't do that, you know what I mean? It's like a turbo intake. That's why he runs really nice Like days. Birdo. Do you know Birdo from uh, Mario Party? She's like Yoshi, but her oh yeah, yeah, her yeah. mouth and her nose are like one thing. <laughs> <laughs> she has like a huge cleft lip. <laughs> is, is he making fun of me? I guess. <laughs> no, she's just got like one big nose <laughs> and a cleft lip. So you know she. I don't know lisp. if that's her nose or her mouth. <laughs> well, she probably has a lisp. Do you think you could get sick twice as fast, or half as likely to get sick if, if, you have, uh, if your mouth and nose are the same? Like literally just mush into one? Yeah. Into a Picasso painting? if you think about it, you have technically... You're like eating your boogers. Yeah, you could be. No, but people say like, if you practice just breathing through your nose, like you get less sick, you know? I Instead know of being like that. a mouth breather. Well, that you have the, like, the little uh, hair... The little hair follicles, the mucus, yeah. you know? Shit. Well, it'll it'll like, wax that shit. It'll yeah. kill it in there. That's not good for you. <laughs> you guys both take care of the inside of your nostrils? No. I mean, <laughs> I like, if it's like... Greek yeah, Italian like, hair hanging like, out. coming out, then I'll trim it. But yeah, that makes sense. Do the little trim, Wha trim, I waxed trim. it in high school in stats class. That was it. In yeah. stats class? Yeah. He was trying to see how many hairs, so you know, they were doing a bat. No, it's just like a class thing that's done every year. I don't know what about it. I can't remember how it was involved with stats in any way, mm. but everybody waxed their nostrils. 
Oh, that's weird. Yeah. So can you tell us, are you like a genius or what's going on here? You know what no, I mean? No, this is just stats. You keep playing and stats and what else did he say? Yeah, algorithms. algorithms <laughs> Pythagorean theorem. I was like, good. You know? I was okay at math. <laughs> you were okay at math? Yeah. So was that your favorite subject in school or what? Yeah. And you know what's the loneliest number? One. <laughs> no, it's zero because zero is a nobody, okay? One is at least somebody. You it's don't a- say I'm number zero. You say I'm number one. And that's the best yeah, thing that's to be. Yeah, that's positive. Yeah. So when did you figure out you were good at math? Elementary school, I guess. Yeah. Like, what did you do? You ever surprise anybody? You know, when they did that. How challenge, do you surprise you were, someone with math? Do you guys still remember that challenge? Like you sit down in, in the classroom, you're like learning your time like tables. And they put that. They put that uh, sheet I, down. Dude, I'd hella cheat on thirty sixes. I'd be like, because they give you like sixty seconds to do it. Okay. And I'd look at like the first row, so I already know the answers before it starts. Oh. Wow. <laughs> He did the what is it the algorithm back then? Well, see, so he jumped the gun. He did it too fast. Now, how many years later, your algorithm was too fast? You just need to slow it down, man. Yeah, yeah, you need to slow down. You know, I've been trying to slow down. Are you helping him slow down? No. 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 So she's an enabler. Is that what I'm trying to get? <laughs> she's an enabler. Like, <laughs> enables bad habits. Giving me 36 sheets every night. <laughs> I do. You do little you time cards. <laughs> I would hate that. But you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, you I the little you were never excited? Maybe until like maybe the fourth, fifth grade, but after that I hated it. Yeah. I preferred stuff with like words. I liked words more so like crosswords. Yo. Yeah. Oh, Sudoku you guys were playing hangman? I sucked at Sudoku. Sudoku. I was a little oh. fucking nerd in elementary school carrying around a Sudoku book. <laughs> oh, you really? carried it around. Yeah. Sudoku and didn't even exist. Cool, dude, what do you, now <laughs> I feel cool. about that dude, being now anime is cool too. He's ahead of the fucking <laughs> Yeah, time, you were just dude. ahead of your time. I guess so. He's <laughs> from the future, I think. So where do you find this man? I know, you know? <laughs> a party. <laughs> a party in the middle of party in the Salt future. Lake. <laughs> a party that he time traveled to. Yeah. party that he time traveled to. Yep. Is Happy he repelling you think? Or? <laughs> Maybe. You know that? They're repelling humanoids or not? With, uh, what's his face? Ted Cruz? Is Ted he Cruz, considered to be know? one? Yeah, isn't he a lizard? Well, they say Bieber is too, isn't he? I haven't heard that. I thought Justin it was Bieber. Obama, you know? No, I heard Bieber was. I'm super lost. What the hell are you guys hey. talking about? We're talking about reptilian humanoids. You don't know anything you about reptilian humanoids? You just came up with lists of no. people... <laughs> Lizzo, I yeah. Lizzo, <laughs> Lizzo, Lizzo, she's obviously yeah. alien. Come on, that was too not obvious. Trying at this point, <laughs> she's yeah. like the queen. She's They're not even trying at this point. Lizzo, Lizzo, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne looks like Charmander. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, what about you, Anna? What's your special uh, subject that you were good at? You think you know back in the day? Uh, I excelled in art. You liked what? Excelled. Mm-hmm. Oh. I actually really enjoyed. My painting class in high school but what was the nickname they gave you tell them they didn't give me no nicknames in high the school. cambodian Pekana. gift shut the fuck that's up. what they called her the cambodian <laughs> gift yeah yeah so the artistic genius they called her the cambodian gift oh and maybe because we're talking about lizards right and uh reptilian humanoids cambodia allegedly is one of the first places of the reptilian humanoids right you know, that was a secret, so thanks for putting it out there. No, but can you, you tell us the story? I'm trying to remember because somebody told me this story once. I thought it was, like, really cool. It was, like, somebody, uh, the man didn't Angelina listen to his Jolie. wife, and then she let the snake in or something like that. Yeah, Angelina Jolie went out there with her little buddies and, and some cars and into the buildings and now has a kid. No, but the real one. Didn't she adopt all her kids? that's why she's that's how you know she's a lizard she can't reproduce yeah Yeah. but you can tell us the camp the cambodian uh story don't tell me you don't know it i have zero idea what you're talking about she doesn't know oh hobby you know what i'm talking about right you're talking about the ancient ruins that are like the anchor what the ancient ruins (laughs) the anchor man (laughs) no you never heard that one it's like the (sighs) i know the story yeah, but like, they're like descendants from like uh like snakes, snakes or something. Snakes, like yeah, it's like a mm-hmm. snake and uh the whatever first they were before. whatever that would be. Slytherin, you guys were the original team Slytherin. Yo, she is Voldemort? Slytherin. She's team Slytherin. Yeah. Team yeah? Slytherin. This shit's true. She does creepy stuff, you think so? 
Now she Because she came in with the, you know, with the energy. She's wearing blocks. <laughs> you know? <laughs> she was like, <laughs> was like, Annabelle's next to her, you know, it flared up and stuff like that. I'm like, happens to be I'm like in bed and she comes in and she's like, hey. <laughs> hey, I want to go to the house. I'm not a fucking snake, dude. <laughs> no. um, tree. But yeah, shout out to what what day was that? I can't even remember. Oregon. Proofreading day. Proofreading, Proofreading you know? So make behind. sure because then you believe Cambodian stories that allegedly aren't real, you know? Yeah. And that Angelina Jolie actually we're, gave birth to all seven. We're gonna look that people. up later. Watch, um, you know, because so, uh, the Cambodian told me that. Javi, what's the Cambodian guy? You know, he used to play basketball with us. Uh, he was like his name starts with a K. Half of the Asian Keanu community. or something like that. <laughs> Keanu, half of the Asian Kente or something like that. Come on, bro. I okay. Give us the next holiday, dude. Now that's gonna drive me crazy. I thought I finally met he somebody also that knew the serpent has story. Some portobello mushrooms. Oh, you know, I wouldn't him, put it, who, Javi or the other guy? No, the, the other guy. guy. The other guy. Yeah, Keon, so. who, what was his name, Javi? Oh, bro. Okay, just give me the next holiday. It's going to drive me nuts. All right, the next holiday <laughs> is National Peanut Cluster Day. Oh, peanut now that's an STD, day, huh? you know yeah. what I mean? You get a peanut cluster? <laughs> you celebrate it. You celebrate it today. You know, Or that's a murder attempt on what somebody. What the hell is a peanut cluster? It's when they have like a, it's like a peanut brittle. But they, they they cover it in Almost chocolate. Almost like a like a Nature That's Valley a, bar too, you know. The yeah. Shit that, uh, they have a holiday for this. I guess. Isn't it like a regular? Because you guys, what you is what the, it looks like? It looks like those out? Harry Potter frogs. That's what it looks like, but with nuts. <laughs> yeah, they cover it. It's like <laughs> uh, you it's know, like, uh, is it called turtle? Well, yeah, like turtle shells. The. That's like doves. It's a peanut like cluster. That, turtle dove? No. It's peanut. It is like a turtle dove, dove, isn't it? Is that what they're called? Turtle dove? I think so. It's not just like yeah. I thought turtle dove was just the bird. But like, is that's that... the one from the twelve days of Christmas? What is it's the definition home home. of a cluster? Is it like two or more peanuts or like, stars? You know what I mean? Because this isn't like what. Do... This is a cluster. Because <laughs> peanuts cluster come fuck. with two peanuts, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that already that's a an orgy cluster? Hole, okay? <laughs> I don't know. But to I me, I don't think so. It's so, so they right? say they just yeah. Like, but like, do you call that a peanut? What do you call that? It's just a regular peanut. But it has two peanuts inside of it. So let's go with three. Three or more is a is a cluster. A cluster. Yeah. But a cluster is like they put the thing, you know, like that, and then they just cover them with something like caramel or something like that. Or yeah, chocolate. Okay. okay. Yeah, Why and they don't like harden it, that? and then you just. Is there like a, we're gonna have to ask the national holiday yeah, community. Is there like a hot I'm tamale holiday? This. I probably, probably is. <laughs> We've had a weird holiday. Now, he's the one that's created all of these yeah. holidays. Just, <laughs> yeah, we, we don't make these up, by the way. We yeah, how do you make a holiday like a national holiday? I don't know. I it's thought like, you would know what the today is National Host like Day. Uh, I think you just complain in front of a state capitol with a picket uh, sign, and you march around till they're like, "Hey, fuck you!" Just yeah, is there a like holiday. a petition you have to sign online or something? I don't know. We should try it. We should make a holiday. A GoFundMe. National, national go Beans one. and Rice yeah. Day. Yeah. yeah. No, but I want to do a better holiday. You know, yeah, we'll something pick a cool holiday. What's like something weird that people like? You know what I mean? Like National Sketchers Day. You know. Because people hate it. You know what I mean? We can do a scratch and sniff day. There's probably already like a National Crock Day. National Croc? Yeah, there's probably already a date yeah, for that. that. Scratch and sniff. I thought that was a good one. Yeah, scratch and sniff. Because, you know, people scratch their privates and like to sniff it a little bit afterwards. Or their ass. I think that needs... Yeah, that too. <laughs> I mean, that's a private, right? Or no? Would you consider it a private? Is it a private for you, you know? Yeah. The brown eye? That's not a... <laughs> it's not a private part? No, because I feel like people show that a lot more than... The poop shoot? Yeah. Hmm. They show oh, yeah. People show you the butthole. A I would show my butthole, dude. I, I think so. Yeah. You know, I do. You, you like spread your like cheeks more than you yeah. like show your front, right? Yeah. I like it's true. You know, when you're if younger. If they could see the butthole, I think people would like... understand it more. You know, like if so, if you're like in the middle, of, you know, outside, and you like you're gonna poop your pants, and you just like poop outside, and people are like, oh, the guy's having a rough day. But if you really need to pee. And you take it out. Like, hey, you're go, like, come look on, at go this hide pedophile. Yourself, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's true. Exactly. Yeah. Because even for girls, you know, well, for girls, you guys are screwed, kind of, huh? So you can flex yeah. your asshole in front of underage children, but you can't pee in front of them. Good to know. <laughs> Not that I'm going to do it, guys. Because just... we can do either or butthole, but for girls, it's like you're screwed either way, huh? Yeah. It's a little yeah, too close kinda. to home. Yeah, it is a little too close to home. Because unless you're going to go like, like, you know what I mean? Like, what are you going to do? Go like this just to show your butt only? Yeah. That would be hard. Dude, why do you think uh, Eve wore a leaf? That's why. Adam and Eve, no? 
Mm, well, she had a leaf covering it, just a small leaf. But I mean, like, the leaf was more so, like, on top, right? Like, it wasn't, like, full yeah. stand down. Neither there. of them had a leaf on their asshole, though, right? No. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, That's fair game. They, yeah. That's why the snake got aroused. Yeah. Here. <laughs> you couldn't tell what was what. Or high, who was high blood pressure with snakes <laughs> around. <laughs> Maybe he saw another snake, you know, Adam's snake. And then you get herpes now in your privates. It was a poison ivy from the leaf. That's what oh. happens. Do you guys think you would get rid of your buttholes if you had, like, a better disposal uh, mechanism? I need, like, what else would we use to dispose? So maybe it's, like, it comes out of your heel or something like that. Oh, you hell know? yeah. <laughs> you know? You're like, well, you just look, imagine just it'd be you... easier to wipe your foot or your butt. That would be prone to, like, uh, infections and shit, right? No, you just yeah. go outside and on the grass. Yeah, hey, that's where you get infections. Yeah, that seems more natural, though. You know? Out of your foot. No, I mean, like... Doing if it out you, If you have to shit in the wild, I'd rather shit out of my foot than my butthole. Yeah, because even when you see a dog... Because then you gotta leave. Sure what happens if something happens and now you have to run, and your butthole's now in, like, your foot butthole? Can, we, can we have, like, a cap for our foot? The Blair Witch Project. The what? Like a cap for a foot. But you like get what lid. I'm saying, right? Oh, that would be good, huh? If you're mid shitting on your foot and danger approaches you, like if you out your normal butthole, you would be able to either pull up your pants or at least run. No, you can you can use it like uh what's that guy from My Hero that runs fast? Oh, uh, Ida. Uh, I don't. I know who you're talking. Ida. Ida's his name. Ida the Kimas. Yeah. So like you get real anxious. You spray out everything. You get a little burst of speed. But that's through his like shins, not his heel. Oh, I thought we were saying well, it was through, through your heel. heel, dude. If somebody's after you, can you just go like this? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like you can just like a skunk. Yeah, like a skunk. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Just yeah. shh, leave me alone. Because skunks don't get killed by many predators in the wild. <laughs> oh yeah, but imagine. Okay, this if this would be great if you're a lady, right? A pervert, you know? He's like, oh hey, what's going on? What is it? Oh Harvey Weinstein or whatever, you know? Yeah, and you know, and you're you like, have a foot fetish. Now you have a fecal, <laughs> yeah, you have a the fecal foot fetish. fetish. FF he might have both, though. <laughs> <Fat Alice. laughs> you know, but you can shh, deter people, I guess. Because like buttholes, come on, man. You know, you don't get tired of your butthole sometimes, bro. I always get tired of my butthole. You, know? you can ask Anna. Yeah, you, yeah. she much. gets tired of it too. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, all the papers gone, and she gets charming ultra. Dude, you we know? do actually get because that's the only fucking toilet paper he'll use. Dude, that's what I've. Dude, when, you got a leaky butthole. Is when that what you're saying? Companies skip out and buy cheap toilet paper. That shit pisses me off more than anything. It's else. like papyrus that's been around for three thousand yeah, years. Like I find a way to save like a few grand a year, and they're like, "Oh, that's that's like nothing compared to our other costs." I'm like. We can get a lot better toilet paper with that. Yeah. Now, I had this. I think there was some national toilet paper they want. And I was saying, so whenever you go to interview for a job, right? And they're like, oh, we're going to pay you great. We have all these benefits. I always say, go check the restroom, check their toilet paper. And that way, if they have nice toilet paper, they care about their employees. I, I judge people off of their toilet paper in their home. Yeah? I feel like their toilet paper, like someone's toilet paper tells you a lot about them. Because I've got the one play for COVID, I had the one play for a little bit, okay? <laughs> you know, that one was sad, you know? You take whatever you can get during I was just, those first few months. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had one roll of uh, the normal toilet paper, I would use it on Sundays only. <laughs> you know? I'm gonna the grass was myself. green, it's now brown, and I've it's not dehydrated. I've got a handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> you Moist can use your cat. Way, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I swear we were gonna go somewhere really good with this, and then and it just stalled. What were we? What was the question I asked you? I don't know. He just said he was tired of his butthole because you asked him. If oh he was no, tired no, of his I was gonna ask you. So you have a leaky butthole? Yeah. Where it just kind of leaks, dude. Same. No, it doesn't leak. I just like well, my, not but my it gets stomach like, fucking hates me, dude. But it gets like you know what I mean? Like mine, dude. My butthole, bro, is just like. <laughs> When you say it leaks, is it just like... No, it's not leaking right now. <laughs> no, but not right now. That'd be called incontinent. What do you mean by it leaks? Is it like unexpected? Like for me, I have to wipe so many times. You know what I mean? Well... I'm just like, why? Same, but that's because I'm hairy. You, that's what it is, you think? <laughs> yes. Oh, so it's just like... What did you say? Like a bush down there. <laughs> Yeah, like you can't the see. The wilderness. I can't find my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a sprout of tired of it. <laughs> it's like an amber that never the, worked. Yeah, like, like a, a sprout of broccoli. You know, yeah. like this. <laughs> and that's where the Oregon Trail leads. So uh, oh, that's where it is. That sounds so kind of hot. That's why you can't find it. Only Anna can. <laughs> <laughs> so that doesn't happen to you, Hoss? No. How many things do you need to wipe? 
I mean, a fair amount. I want to make sure it's clean. Like how many? Stuff. How many squares of toilet yeah. paper? Yeah. I've never considered the I amount know. of squares of toilet but paper. But if you like wing it, like, okay, you go like this, right? Yeah, I know. I would probably mean. say maybe like this much. So, like, uh, that's what, seven squares? Seven squares? No. Yeah, squares are like that, right? You're good at math. How many squares is this? <laughs> seven. Yeah, yeah sure. see? Seven? Nah, maybe. My power. Like, does, anybody actually use, wipes? does anybody actually use odd numbers of squares of toilet paper? Well, arguably, you. Well, it does. It wouldn't matter because if you fold it in half, half is half. You don't need it to fold at the seam. At least I don't. I do. You do? You're oh, really? It's got to be enough. four every time. <laughs> oh, man. So you do it in batches of four? Yeah. That's so why he was talking about time. So you're tables. worried about how many squares of toilet it's paper you have. It's 12 to 24 every time. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You should, find, you should use that time finding your asshole, okay? 12 to 24. No, it's because you find it, but it just keeps, like, you just keep wiping it's you gotta, it. You got to, like... I'm telling you, bro. Pull. The elusive oh. asshole. <laughs> and then you, like, you're like, okay, I'm done, right? You're like, I'm done. I'm going to do one just in case. <laughs> to make sure I'm good, and then you still find a trace, bro. Okay. It's just horrible, you know? But, dude, I love you, you know? <laughs> Finally, you know? Javi, does that happen to you? Not really. He has a bidet, you know? That was <laughs> a trick question. A bidet. That was a trick I use, question. Uh, have you guys wipes. tried bidets before? Huh? No, I'm afraid of them. I am as well. Because right, you might get too aroused, you know? Yeah, my uh, <laughs> my grandma's boyfriend has one. And my sister and I went into the bathroom, and she turned it on and this thing squirted probably like six feet and sprayed the mirror oh, and really? i'm like that's some that's high pressure disgusting. Like, i don't think i don't think that's safe Dude, he, might, that he, he, might, he might have that bidet for another reason yeah, yeah. He's got the super soaker, you know what I mean? So he just puts drugs in it and, you know, just sit down. Just, like, bring a squirt gun with you to work. <laughs> <laughs> That's your original portable bidet, you know? <laughs> Yo, that's a super soaker. <laughs> but did you try it? It's a question. No, I didn't. No? I got, that was too much pressure for me. I'm not yeah. going to try it. I have an unhealthy fear of bidets. What about you? I'll explain my fear in a little bit. You though. would bidet yourself? You know, I would try it, but, you know, just, I think being a female there are other reasons yeah you're an tract right? infection right? Yeah. yeah utis the devil's month or the devil's time shark of the month, week you know? yeah. yeah shark it's week called like, the passion of the christ yeah okay. passion of the christ <laughs> thank you javi for carrying our things you guys are welcome <laughs> um some would call it tea time <laughs> uh but yeah i would try it i would i go out of my way to buy one no but if someone had one do I had fraud on my eBay account with a bidet? Oh, oh really? Yeah, I remember telling you this. <laughs> I don't because I was you're... pissed. So I love eBay, and I would buy a bunch of random things. Never anything remotely close to a bidet. And then I saw that there was a charge on my account, um, and it was through PayPal too. So it was seven hundred and fifty bucks or something like that. And so I backtracked. I'm like, I didn't order a fucking bidet. And like, my brother has logins for like almost everything I have except eBay because he doesn't care for eBay. So I knew it wasn't him. And first of all, he has no interest in bidets anyways. I called PayPal, took care of it. eBay took care of it. And it ended up being someone in Orem who was like fraudulent, uh, doing fraudulent charges on people's eBay's accounts. Oh, and the Orem police was like, asked me to file like a, uh, whatever, a, a police, police report. report. And he was like, yeah, th but even the police like had a kind of a humor side to him. He goes, He's buying a bunch of weird shit. The he goes, bidet bag. Yeah, he's like, he, he bought bidets. He bought like a bunch of other stuff that doesn't make sense, but. So it's grandpa's boyfriend. Yeah. So, <laughs> for all grandpa's boyfriend. It was your grandpa's Is this where your hate of Orem stems from? <laughs> hate it. No, I'll tell you the hate in a little bit, but. Or my fear, I guess. Um, oh, no. Orem? I don't hate Orem. I hate Ogden. It's Ogden. I got Ogden. mixed up. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. yeah. They're Ogden. almost the same, but one's just slightly cleaner. We know which one that one is. But yeah, for the next year on eBay, I would always suggest bidets for me until I kept purchasing things that were not bidets. So now they're not in my suggested things suggested for you. I don't want a fucking bidet. Yeah. But they just, just seem gross. It's just haunting me. you now. Just a few super soakers in your, <laughs> in your ads now. <laughs> super soakers with suppository pills and you do the math, you know. I think I would be scared. Like I would have, I would want to have like my only, if I know it was just my bidet, you know what I mean? Then I would maybe be okay. If you're all alone, you try it. Well, yeah, if it was just like a bidet that's like, I know it's only my what feces or anything else that's going to be in there. Are, are like portable bidets a thing? Can you bring them to work and use them? I want you just oh, like I install it. I would hate that person automatically. That would that be was. difficult because you would have to like <laughs> Jimmy rig the 
the fucking water to <laughs> you squirt sit through your port portable one. Up your bidet? Unless you do it at the sink, then we're good Dude. to go. <laughs> oh, this is what we got to invent. The portable bidet, you can take it anywhere. No, so it's you... only for sinks, though. You have to shit in the sink to use it. Oh, no, because I was going to do one that you can take to work. Yeah, you have to mash it down <laughs> to make sure it fits. No, so you just take one hose. <laughs> and then you have to grab it and throw it in the garbage. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like a potato ricer. <laughs> come on, guys. Oh, you guys can talk about it for half an hour. Now I mentioned something. And I'm the fuck, fucking, fucking bad guy. Sick. Fucking hamburger helper over here. Oh, yeah. Relax. Yo, sorry to interrupt. Where's your bathroom at? Huh? So much uh, poop talk, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just right there. You'll see it. You'll see it. It's all gender. Just close the door so the dogs don't let the dogs out. Yeah. The other one. The uh, yeah, right yeah. there. But I would be scared of a bidet, you know? You see the injustice that has happened? <laughs> I mentioned two statements, and I'm ostracized. Well, it's because we, we we're not going to talk about poop that much like that, you know? Well, you, you guys don't. did. I was just going to say, if you, you guys got... talked about wiping and squeezing as you lifted it off your asshole. It's because that's the trauma that we shared, dude. Well, look at the trauma I'm trying to save. That's not a trauma. That's a trauma <laughs> you're trying to start. Okay. A portable bidet. On the sink. In the sink. Yeah. Mine was. So, so just install uh, brown countertops. This is what I would do to make a portable bidet, right? You you got a little hose, okay. right? You stick it to the whatever bathroom you're using. You stick it in there and then it has a pedal. So oh. while you're sitting down pooping. You pump, it's like a pumping mechanism. <laughs> so the it pumps water around the host, sh shoots it up your butt. Okay. And then you can take it anywhere. Yeah. But then the host, that would kind of be... Gross afterwards, right? Yeah. E. coli spread. Damn. So I guess you can't make like a... a sa what is it? A sanitary bidet? Portable one? Yeah, I guess maybe if you had other accoutrements, like uh, you'd have to have like a hand sanitizer or bleach. To douse it with, make it stainless steel. A thing. stainless steel, like the tip yeah, of the hose. Make sure you Not get the hose itself. <laughs> you got caught, dude. Yeah. You got tetanus, you know? Yeah. But girls, do they get scared of like porta potties or what's that in the. Oh, I fucking hate porta potties. Yeah. I, we, uh, a couple, couple years ago, pff, we've been in quarantine for two years now. What? <laughs> couple years, yeah. Um, but a few years ago, I actually went to quite a few music festivals and all they had were porta potties and it was like the worst thing ever because you just like one they run out of the shitty toilet paper two you kind of gotta you know if you're not doing squats you're fucked because you're just on it yeah on That's it so it's gross just, yeah it's one reason i avoid music festivals yeah i don't like that stuff at all it's disgusting well public public restrooms in general can't do it yeah well i have an advantage being a guy because i can pee because i don't have to touch anything other than myself yeah. to, you know just aim whatever i could go in a corner i don't need a bathroom for that no yeah but yeah okay. if number two hits i'm i get like scared I'm like well i'm holding this until i get to a spot i trust yeah truly it it's, fucking sucks. you kind of feel ashamed huh when you use a public restroom it's not even a shame of a public restroom it's just kind of like i don't know you don't know who's butt cheeks have been where like that's truly like the fear that i have i just because i don't mind like if i you know if you know that it's being cleaned that's okay right sure. but if you're going and it's like a public place and you don't know if like someone's butt cheeks have touched yeah but don't you think like if you go number <laughs> two in a porter potty you walk out and even though there's a line waiting to do the exact same thing you did they all know a piece of you died in there Oh yeah, like yeah, you're, like a little bit, you know, like your soul even... gets slowly chipped at every time you use a porter potty for number two. Yeah, you're like, oh. like, and you people look at you too, like I know what you fucking did. You fucking you're all sweaty, shit. you know what yeah. I mean? You walk out all sweaty because <laughs> you were squatting, yeah. you know. Especially in construction, like in the summer, you're fucking sweating. You get in that porter potty, it's like 110 <laughs> degrees. You've had to do one like that? Yeah, it's a hot pleasant. one like that. Dang, dude, that was just for the summer though. With a sauna, a sauna, dude. Yeah, or a steam room. Or yeah. your freaking parents' bathroom upstairs, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just peered for like a half hour. And I came back like fucking sweat dripping down my face in their bathroom. You sweat a lot when you're in bathrooms. I know from first-hand experience. You walk out of the bathroom, I'm like, why are you so sweaty? And that was her fault, though. That, that, that is true. was not my fault. No one asked you to be there. I I was I was chilling. I was vibing. Nico, go check on your girlfriend. She's throwing up. <laughs> That seems appropriate for you to go check on her. I will be, <laughs> I will be honest, but and then for both of us to drag you down. You, well, no, you were dragging me down. I was carrying her to the bed. 
she passed out long story short <laughs> and he was like trying to take care of her and he wasn't in a position to carry her so i scooped her up off the ground and she's completely passed out and i think he intended to help me actually but he was kind of pretty far gone so he literally just hung on to my shoulders and i dragged him <laughs> as i'm carrying her and he's on my back and i take him to the room so you put both of them to bed yeah i put her to bed and then i asked him like are you sure you're okay do you need water and he's like yeah I'm fine then he kind of just like s sat on the corner of the bed and then me and the other people are about to leave and we just hear a thud and she intentionally threw herself off the bed that i had just put her on sometimes the floor is just wants to be your best friend so she's not a very grateful person no she was grateful like? but oh. i i guess maybe i didn't do my research and i should have asked her i should have asked but like where would you like to be placed <laughs> she probably wasn't responsive though oh no she was passed hey, out what were yeah. you guys doing come on what kind of party was this come on guys <laughs> we're 2022 to you know <laughs> no this was a 2019 yeah. oh, oh gosh, okay yeah it's definitely okay this <laughs> is, yeah 2019 time ago. maybe yeah but that's it for port parties, you think? Yeah. Do you ever been victimized? So you need any closing statements? Maybe Javi can give us a couple of closing statements on Hopefully public restrooms. Hopefully enlightening statements on these disgusting um, conversations. Rooms. Public restrooms, uh, restroom paraphernalia. I mean, I don't think I've had like too many negative experiences that I can think of. Like ever. <laughs> Have you ever used a public restroom? I don't poop, dude. I don't I don't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He just I don't have a ball. <laughs> he pumps his you guys stomach. Didn't know? He has a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> he just like grabs a garbage can and like <laughs> That's it, you know? Uh other than like sometimes them being dirty or the sink is actually worse than the fucking toilet. Like people leave snot in the sink oh, and shit. Dude, dude I've seen that, bro. So gross. And then that's or the they'll like that makes me gag. It's yeah, snot. Ugh. Yeah. Or they'll brush your teeth and leave all their like food that came out of their mouth in the sink, dude. It's gross. What? But, Dang, bro, where does he have the food? You know? I know. Savages. I were work you with at the savages. Road home? <laughs> where, the, where the fuck were you? I will not disclose the information, <laughs> but yeah. That's kind of like at church. church. Dude, our church did you said you go to church or no? I used to own anymore. What are the, the church bathrooms? I, I don't think I've ever been inside of one. I have. Are they nice? The ones I've been to, actually, yes. They're actually <laughs> taken care of. Oh, really? Yeah. And people have, like, shame, too, because if it's a church community, most people <laughs> see each other on a frequent basis. It was an LDS one? Uh, I've done... I've seen Episcopal. Oh, multiple religions. Yeah, because it's in Puerto Rico, like, there's a lot of different, like, Christian religions, and anytime someone would have, like, some sort of blessing, you'd just go, and... You know, it's hot there. I drink a lot of water, so I go pee a lot. And they've always been clean. Who do you think has the best uh, restroom out of the religions, you know? <laughs> Probably the Baptists. You don't think the Jews? I've never been... Well, I've... Well, you can't go in a synagogue, so... But I've never really been into a... a Jew, well, I mean, I've never been to a Jewish synagogue. I'm not allowed. What would Did you, you get banned or something? Oh, well, I'm not oh. Jewish. Hey, maybe monks, they have nice restrooms. You don't think so? Well, they shit in the wild, so I would hope their bathrooms are, are nice. Oh, they shit in the wild? Monks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I thought, because they have nice ropes and stuff, you know? The airbender ropes? Easy access. Yeah. Yeah, I would imagine they have, like, nice material, you know what I mean? Do they just keep it the same color they can wipe and keep the <laughs> shirts on? That's why it's actually that color. Yeah. You know, it's tie dyed. Yeah, like, look, at this color? look at this rustic orange. <laughs> they have hemorrhoids and they're taking shits. <laughs> They're, they're a high or uh what is it uh carrot diet you know yeah <laughs> but that's it for poop stuff you know what i mean yeah it's enough poop <laughs> we got anything else javi or yeah uh, the last one um international women's day there we go you know? there it is gentlemen and lady <laughs> we, we, <laughs> <laughs> we have done it and we have a lady she's gonna tell us about women you think so yeah how tell us about women and how you feel about the pa the so-called patriarchy women we are how does that song go? I don't know what song you're referring to. Papa Roach. Papa Roach got my life into pieces. I'm just kidding. Um, woman, we are uh the fucking I don't know what to say. Child bearer. So so maybe child look, maybe bearer. so you can get some inspiration, you know? Maybe we can meet some up uh, some uh powerful women, you think so, Huss? Marilyn yeah. Monroe. You know? Yeah. Harriet Tubman. Yeah. Harriet Tubman. Condoleezza Harriet Rice. Rice. Yeah. You know? Lucy Volkovich. Oh, yeah. Shout out to her. A USSR defectant. Special Ops Forces. <laughs> Mother Goose. That's not a mustache. Those are her scars. Yeah. Torture tactics were used. She passed. I'll show you afterwards. Mm. 
Well, um, who else did we say? Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. You know any powerful woman? Mavis Beacon. The Beacon of Hope. Your mother. Amelia Earhart. Yeah, my mom's <laughs> little. You know. Amelia Earhart. Well, I think that kind of explains it. I mean, women are obviously what holds this place together. This place, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you want to work. We're trying to give a powerful speech to women, you know? Huh. So maybe like, I am not that person to give that speech. <laughs> no, you're going to, you're, you're going to have to, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know? Oh, so, fuck. so maybe let's see. Cause when, when was the time that they didn't really appreciate women? You know, probably the fifties, you know? Yeah. Anytime before the 50s. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, I guess 50s, this, it's this when he was talking was about, shitty, uh, not the past few he was talking about 50 before. AD. You yeah, know what I mean? Until present, yeah. <laughs> so maybe we're going to do a role play. You think so, Hush? Sure. So maybe we're going to be, uh, let's see. So it's a 50 AD. So it's like the they got castles and stuff like that, right? Absolutely. I got my, my fucking sword. Well, you got the sword? The sword <laughs> of genocide? Is that like a dagger? Um, what would you call that? Like a like a midget, a sagger. Sword. It's a mid- hey, watch it. It's a little people sword. Okay. What is the proper term for a hard little hard person? Coming in hot. A little people. That's what they're or people. dwarf dwarfism. A dwarf. We've had this sword. conversation a, a couple times on these uh, episodes. They want to be called dwarfs. Give them these. Maybe we're gonna be, sh- uh, you know, chivalrous. We're we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be the original chivalrous knights. <laughs> And who are they going to be? They're going to be peasants from a different town? Yeah. That are pro like, woman's right. They're common oh, folk. Lord. Okay. So they're going to be uh, trying to tell us why we should let, you know, women start voting and. It's on my farm, my back. Wherever you want it. Your neck or your back. My head is not going to. My neck. My back. <laughs> my head is too big to. <laughs> so is mine. I, no, I think if you put it sideways, it'll fit. Look. You go no, sideways? Mine is, no, mine is not. You know, a special shout out to my mom. <laughs> oh sh! <laughs> I heard something snap. <laughs> I did. I broke that was Jose's neck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a medical miracle. So, what are we Templars, or what do they call the people that do this? Or they're kings? Uh, we are chivalrous zealots. <laughs> chivalrous zealots. zealots. And what can my name be? Maybe I'm Ezekiel. I like that name. Ezekiel. What do you want to be? I don't know. What's a good name to to be next to Ezekiel. Maybe no, maybe I want to be like Larsonist. Maybe that's my name. That's Larsonist? Like, yeah. <laughs> You're one letter away from being an arsonist. <laughs> um, Isn't Larson just thief? Like being a thief? <laughs> un ladron, yeah. Larsilius, okay, I'll call that. Marsilius. Maybe I'll be Marsilius, you know? Marsilius. I'm Marsupilius. Maybe if you establish Marsu- huh? a region. Marsupilius? <laughs> Marsupilius. <laughs> so he's Marsupilius. I'm Marsupilius. Who was that again? Yeah. Koala. No, marsupilius. Okay, <laughs> I discovered he the does marsupials have later. Colors, okay? you know? like, gray. I talk yeah. about shit. You have herpes. I talk about chlamydia. <laughs> chlamydia. Okay. Oh, chlamydia. <laughs> chlamydia koalas. <laughs> Maybe who was I going to be again? Larcenus. Oh, Larcenus. Okay. Mar- I thought it was Mars. Mars. Marsilius. Marsilius. Marsupilius. Marsilius. Marsupilius. We're brothers. And what are you guys going to be? They're going to be like the bakers, you know? Because <laughs> that's how they used to name people back then, you know? The bakers. Oh, what you, the what? The pita. The pita? The pitas. Okay. Pita. <laughs> so they're the pitas, right? They're the pitas. And Javi, he's going to be the guy that, you know, he lets people in the, the night. What is it? So where are you going to be, Javi? What's going to be your name? Wait, I'm what? You're the, you know, the person at the castle. You know, he checks the if you're guard? on the list. Oh, he's a security guard. So what's going to be your name? Maximus. Maximus. We're all in. <laughs> <laughs> Maximus Aurelius. <laughs> True figure. Okay. Look him up. Okay, so what are we doing here? So we got the Pitas. Okay. And they're coming to us, the M's, because, you know, in their village, we don't care about, they don't care about women. We yeah, don't you guys don't women. care about women. Well, we don't let them care about women, you know what I'm saying? They <laughs> the, don't care. The only woman here doesn't care about women. <laughs> hey, that happens. Sometimes, yeah. So they're gonna try to change our mi- our mind on uh on being chivalrous. Yeah, and why we should let women, you know, play sports and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Mm. Wear hats and stuff like that. Okay. So okay, Javi, you uh, so we're just having dinner. You think? Yeah, we're just we're having dinner. Steaks. Yep. Cooked uh, by men. Cooked by men. <laughs> <laughs> Women's rights haven't been a thing yet, guys. 
Everything is done by men. Okay? Wait, wait, wait. So you guys are for women or against women? We're currently... We're neutral ground, but we don't allow women to do shit. Yeah. And we are... You are... You, you are, are fighting woman. for that right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, You're like AOCs, basically. <laughs> so you guys are, you know, you guys are going to fight the power. All right. You know? So you're here, oh, dear say? Lord, these, are, those, these steaks are so good. These steaks are so delicious. Maximus, these are great steaks. Like, we appreciate oh, your cooking. I wouldn't know. I'm just standing guarding the door, <laughs> assholes. <laughs> oh, you know? Don't talk to us that way. Yeah. I shall remove your knighting You rights. will be smitten. Ah, pucks on thee, heathens. Pucks on thee. Huh? Pucks on these. We hear a knock. Who goes there? Maximus? Go get it, Maximus. What do you guys want? <laughs> We're here to offer food. What kind of food? Pitas. Pitas? <laughs> Pita Brand, what about you? <laughs> what about you, sir? I. <laughs> I need toe. <laughs> I need toe. <laughs> you need what? <laughs> you need a toe? We don't have the... We don't do that here. I need to... I am... I don't know. Maximus, are you talking to peasants? I am, sir. Let Summon them, them. Let them in. Summon them? Yes. All right. You guys can come in now. Thank you, sir. And thou Thank art? You, State your sir. names. Mario Peters. Mario Peters, and yours? Luigi Peters. <laughs> <laughs> From family Luigi? <laughs> we know Luigi very, very well. We've heard about you. He's a great man, the inventor of the charcuterie board. <laughs> what brings you to our establishment? We now would like to call it the charcuterie board. <laughs> After woman. Sharkuchi board? Mm -hmm. Sharkuchi. After women. After women. Okay. Women haven't really been looked at very uh, positively in 50 AD. So why this change? Because we have holes that you guys enjoy looking at. Well, that's pretty cheese holes. What do you mean? <laughs> we have swift cheese on our Sharkuchi board. Yeah. Who would like to add Gouda and Brie? And Havarti. And Havarti. Havarti. You can Havarti a good time. Can we get samples first? Have we brought this some samples? This isn't a fucking Costco. <laughs> <laughs> what is a Costco? We're peasants. Sir? We need the money. <laughs> <laughs> Don't what talk to the Lord like that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you are forgiven. <laughs> what is this Havarti? We don't Havarti? have samples, though. No, you don't have samples. Okay. <laughs> and these pitas, why should we taste your women bestowed food? What makes it so good? Because we use seasonings. Seasonings? Is cheese not but moldy milk? With a little bit of salt. They have not traveled through the Silk Road, have they? They have not. We have traveled to the Oregon Trail. <laughs> what is this Oregon you speak of? Show it if you will. <laughs> I don't <remember. laughs> oh Pull him down, pull down those shelves. That is the most hairiest thing I've ever seen, Pita. <laughs> and this is why women wear Mario the pants. Pita. <laughs> she keeps wearing the pants. <laughs> we shall pass this law. From hence on, we shall allow women to cook? To cook and have rights <laughs> in the kitchen. Would you want any other rights? This isn't pro women. <laughs> <laughs> it's 50 AD, okay? It has to start somewhere. Are we fighting for <laughs> it's not rights for women to cook. Okay? <laughs> this is how it started. This is history. Yeah, and this is why women now make sandwiches. Still make sandwiches. Still make sandwiches. And anything else they want to make or not make. True. That's how history starts, guys. It starts with one ripple. With uh, one yes, you know? Yes. One saleswoman, you know? She wants to, you know, taste some of this salami, you know? Yep. Some of this, what is it? Cuda. What else did you have on there? Uh, Swiss. Havarti. You know? Havarti, you know? Yeah. I thought that was a singer, you yeah. know? Havarti is Indonesian. Havarti. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So what What else can you, or what else, Peter? You got any closing statements for women or anything like that? No, ask the woman. No? Do you want to speak on her behalf? Do you want to speak on my behalf? I don't know if you should ever speak for a woman. <laughs> yeah, guys, because no means you no know? unless you're a woman fighting for women's rights. Don't take no for the answer. <laughs> uh, can't make up our minds sometimes. That's fine. I don't know. I should not speak on behalf of women and or... Why is that? Are you scared? I think maybe <laughs> she's scared. Come on, you're... you're uh, remember your uh, ancestors. It's more so, I don't know. I, I definitely, I mean, 
feel like you and I have had this conversation. <laughs> We've <laughs> had a lot of conversations. Unpopular opinions <laughs> than uh, than those of of my fellow same sex, right? But you know, they're like Voldemort's. What she's trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> what don't she's say saying now is name. they can vote now. <laughs> they don't want to. They don't want to make choices. <laughs> Truly, I so, mean. I don't want to make cho- choices yeah. most days. What do you want to eat? Exactly. What do I want to eat? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> what do I want? We had to flip a coin in order to figure out the if we want McDonald's, yeah. McDonald's, or, McDonald's or, or Arctic Circle. Or Arctic Circle today. I and then I why. still ended up choosing. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't let the coin choose? That's no. not a good sign. I know, but that's sometimes why you flip a coin. Yeah, but I, with the coin of destiny, and I explained it to him. The coin of it chooses. If you've already allowed the coin to choose, the moment you flip it, it now chooses. You can't go against it or well, terrible we karma. Did. Okay. We well, got better fries at Arctic Circle than You better office. text me when you guys get home tonight, because if you don't, I know it's because of the fucking coin flip he went against. I feel like we've done Is it that a, a few threat, times. host? <laughs> from what the coin, the? not from me. Yeah, I'm dude. the messenger, okay? All right. The How messenger of the coin. <laughs> I'm the black guy that gets kicked into the well at Sparta. <laughs> Your oh, brother kicked me. Yeah. I read about that black guy. But maybe, you know, I think maybe we should give a woman speech. You don't think so? Well, you tried, and it went nowhere. I just wanted you to encourage women a little bit, Hoss, you know? I did. You got the sword. You know, you can tell them, hey, you know, it's 2022. 2022. If you don't know what to do, write all your feelings down in a journal. Decide what feeling you feel like you identify with most, and go for that. Is that it? You close your case? No one else tell you no. No one can tell you no other than yourself. You can tell yourself no. And somebody that's been working on his relationships with women is actually Javi. And he's married too. Yeah. So he used to struggle a lot. Like what what would he do? You know? Leave the toilet seat up. He would do that kind of stuff. You know? Pee all over it. Yep. You know? He would forget how he met his his love. What else, Javi? <laughs> Uh, everything he'd forget her birthday <laughs> how do you show appreciation uh saying thanks you know <laughs> <laughs> thanks for making me yeah, the sandwich yeah, exactly. <laughs> i asked for a sandwich not a burrito <laughs> <laughs> Who's <What eggs>? overdone? <laughs> why is this burnt <laughs> it's toast <laughs> this is charcoal not a sandwich Maxim, Maxim, Maxim. <laughs> are you not entertained <laughs> and then i was crucified so <laughs> With a thro- uh, what is it? A crown of thorns on your head? Yep. Dude, uh, the fact that they put thorn crown on the head of a 14 year old, I wish I was there to see it. I would have loved seeing that. <laughs> yeah, dude, I didn't think, like, I didn't think they were going to just go, hey, we don't have a crown. Let's <laughs> go to the thing. rose bush and make one. Dude, that shit fucking hurt. <laughs> <laughs> like, legit. Yeah, it was like yeah, almost like did. legit. I wish I was to there. To the point where they put the nails through my fingers. I'm like, oh, this in is the getting, middle, like that. It's getting a little too real. <laughs> you know? He thought it was a war cry. <laughs> yeah, he was, was looking for something he didn't do. It was a little sketch, do. you know. And I was in my underwear, so like, <laughs> how old were you? Fourteen or fifteen, dude? I was underage for sure. That was abuse from the Catholic now Church. Now he's, you know, now he's having troubles getting an erection, you know. Yes. It's- that's probably due to CTE though. He doesn't know what to do. Probably the loss of blood too, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And your torn ACL. Then too. So it's a hard time. Catholic community, you know? Be nicer to men, you know? That's what we're trying to say. Absolutely. Maybe let a girl play Jesus, you know? Yeah. They yeah, have longer hair. We're playing Mother Teresa half of the time. So <laughs> Or the Virgin Mary, huh? Or yeah. the Virgin Mary. Dude, it's honestly I think maybe there's more uh popular girls than Jesus, isn't it? Because it's like Magdalene, Mother Teresa, Virgin right? Mary. The is Magdalene. That's a hooker, right? Yes. So she's popular, right? Mm-hmm. Jezebel, the other prostitute. There was another one, Jezebel. Jezebel, yeah, in the Bible. They walked, so only fans can run. Is pretty much what it comes down to. A revolutionary. Look at that. You're welcome. What Jezebel about in the Greek walked, community? Only fans can <laughs> run. Know. You didn't know any I'm girls. Ten like percent Greek. You just know any Greek goddesses? Nothing like that? Venus, uh, Aphrodite, no. Serena, Mamma Mia. What's uh, Athena? <laughs> Mamma Mia. Athena's another one. Uh huh. Yeah. All for Athena. You're all for Athena. Medusa, right? She was one. Medusa, Medusa was yeah. a demon. She's a, she's a or just a monster. 
<laughs> yeah, she's the OG no. Slytherin. Are you I not thought... into Slytherin? Did actually, you just say she's, she's actually a, a lizard? <laughs> <laughs> she's a gecko. <laughs> Medusa, you would it be hard to be Medusa? You think? Oh, I mean, it's hard if you're a man looking at Medusa. Well, technically, uh huh. Well, the backstory of Medusa was that. Oh, so another... you know the story of Medusa, but not to Cambodia. <laughs> <laughs> the story of Medusa was that another dumb bitch got jealous and then changed her into a, a serpentine. Oh, really? Headed lady, yeah. Oh. So can you say a little bit? Like elaborate a little bit better. Yeah, so what happened? So... Was it Aphrodite? I think, yeah, it was Aphrodite. I think it was Aphrodite, actually, because Aphrodite is, like, the goddess of, like, beauty and all that shit, right? Lust, and yeah. who was the man that she was with? Zeus? Hercules, Hercu maybe? No. You know, Athena was with Zeus, I thought. Isn't uh, everyone with Zeus? Oh, but everybody is sucking up with them. Smash, the huh? yeah. player. Yeah. 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 Well, How many kids does he have? <laughs> all of, them are, all yeah. of them are her kids. Or his kids. Well, Poseidon. Stuff like that. Come on. I, I don't know. That's it was brother. one of them. But then Aphrodite got mad because one of the other gods was looking at Medusa because she was also a babe. And then she got jealous. And so then she ended up making Medusa like a snake-headed lady. Which only made her hotter. Why? Because when men gaze upon her, they stay rock hard if you catch my drift. <laughs> Med USA. Patent no, pending. No other, you know? girl could do that no other know? girl gets men harder than medusa and that's a fact you're not wrong so, so what's some uh women's rights woman on woman them. crimes that you've been like uh victimized stuff you know <laughs> hey. we can give examples though of fatima and her phone <laughs> oh god she should be coming on this podcast later at another <laughs> la later day Hell but yeah. yeah you can tell the story i don't care well fatima when she got into a fight and, and assaulted someone with her own <laughs> phone someone with her phone imagine if allegedly, it was allegedly allegedly <laughs> yeah allegedly shout out to armando armani so what's happening we went from medusa now somebody has a phone yeah well you said women on women crimes we're talking about a mutual friend who assaulted another person in middle school <laughs> with a phone and like hit the <laughs> hit them over the head with the phone and was it, it like a nokia and then got arrested <laughs> yeah i don't know what phone it was it was i don't, I don't know. know if the other girl would be alive yeah <laughs> if it was a nokia there'd be a crater <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that was just the big ass dead in her head. <laughs> <laughs> is it hard to being a girl sometimes like because i feel for guys like we kind of we don't really have that much drama right we're just like you kind of if you don't like somebody you don't like them and that's yeah. kind of it but I think sometimes, well, this is me, just my perspective. Like, I feel like sometimes the girls could be play more of like, hey, we're buddies. You know what I mean? Like more like, oh, hey, hi. Yeah. But then yeah. you're, you kind of hate that person. We're little fake bitches sometimes. You can say it. No, I, I, I didn't know the word, you know, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> saying that. <laughs> but I, I was just saying, cause like guys, it's like, we don't like each other. It's like, well, you know, I'm not really yeah, going to kind of, we don't chat with them. Yeah. 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 Like, whereas girls are a little bit more amicable. They kind of just like small talk that's a good way to put it yeah. yeah um yeah i guess some sometimes it, it is a little difficult um i think it just kind of i feel like i just i feel like i'm kind of just the odd one out honestly when it comes to to this type of stuff i mean i'm host knows a few stories but for the most part i mean i kind of just keep to myself um until <laughs> i'd venture to say as a guy so and you can speak in nico like do you think it's easy for you to spot like when another guy you know you you guys just don't like each other whether it's been publicly stated or not yeah i can't pick up well i can see it from other girls but can girls see it from other women like do you think you can spot them pretty quickly because i think guys can pick up on it way fast where you're like i know this guy doesn't like me i don't like him we're fine whereas because you guys mingle so much there's like blurred lines yeah yeah I don't know. I feel like it's, uh, yeah, I guess in a sense, like it would be a little bit harder. Um, yeah, but do you specifically think you're good at like figuring it out? No, because I'm just trying to make friends with everyone. I feel like I'm speaking for women here, which I don't know if I should do, but I feel you like can. all girls try and be more friendly and like more polite. Yeah. For and sure. guys are just like, oh, that is a good way to put it. Too. Not necessarily not polite, but like don't feel as much of an urge to be polite. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay, I see what you're saying. I agree with you, but like, I won't be a dick, but I'm not gonna be your friend. I'll right. Yeah. So that's how he means it. It's like so. But for girls, it's like, oh, I'm trying to be nice to kind of like she said. I'm trying to be nice to everybody. Yeah. Because I mean, it, it's the perfect example is you know when Nico and I go to Dutch Bros and you know they they sit there and they talk to you. Like I'll definitely carry on a conversation, whereas he's just like giving my damn coffee. Like I'm trying to leave, <laughs> you know. So I, I think there is that that difference. Um. 
but yeah, I think it's just more so trying to get a feel of, of someone for me, at least like when I do start talking to another girl, like regardless if I I'm vibing with them or not, it's just more so to get a feel and see if conversations can continue, I guess is mm. the best way to put it. Yeah. And what about like girl drama? Cause you know, there's like girl stories, you know, uh-huh. they're like, Oh man, I, you know, my man's, you know, he was so drunk. You know, they put me in bed and I fell over at a party. You know, that's why I'm bruised up. Yeah. You know, so like, he's going to court for my action. <laughs> <laughs> well, her actions, my was trying to help. Like, how do you, uh, that never gets like annoying or like, uh, how do you, cause I don't think for guys, like if we, if we kind of gossip, we, you know, it's not like, I think we, shit talking is different for us. I don't think it's gossip. Cause it's just like, I don't know. You talk shit on them and then you move on. But we don't, but I, I, I always interpret gossip as you twist the truth a little bit to make them look even worse. But that's just my interpretation of gossip. You know, when a girl posts a, a picture online and another girl's just like, damn, this girl must be insecure posting pictures like that. So yeah, gossiping to office gossip. So I'm going to say, I think it's harder to be a woman now than it was 30 years ago. Yeah, I don't I care. So I don't care as much as people like, oh, the rights have like, first of all, the rights have been kind of in place for a couple decades now, but the whole internet has made it far worse now for women to be women than it is than it was 30 years ago even 10 years ago agreed do you feel that way or not like we like uh because like one thing that i've noticed and i can't remember if it was like something that i watched um but it made like a pretty good point with like how girls can have like um i guess struggle more with like mental health and stuff like that because it's like like for guys we're just pretty we're almost like almost like idiots you know it's like oh you can just be this kind of stereotype and then that's it, you know? But for girls, it's like, well, girls, what you guys are, should be, it's like always changing. So even by girls or just like in culture in general, like girls are always like evolving, like, oh, this is the beauty standard. Oh, this is what you should look like. This is, and it's like for guys, it's just like, oh, you just like have to, you know what I mean? You yeah. can just be like a guy. You almost have like more leeway. But for girls, it's just like, you almost like fuck up your identity in a way. Does that make sense? No, that totally makes sense. And I, and I, definitely think i think just this day and age now right it's a lot harder regardless if you're a girl or a guy because you're always comparing yourself to to whatever standards are out there um i think for girls it's definitely kind of you know at least when i was younger the biggest thing was you know being slim with you know i mean at least for being an ethnic girl right when i was younger going through school a lot of us um and i mean i've had multiple conversations with with other girls it's just the standard um for beauty was being skinny with blonde hair blue eyes that's that's what guys were into and that's what what the beauty standard was and now it's like now you gotta have big lips and and full eyebrows and a big booty and you know that's that's the check, beauty check, standard check for you. that's <laughs> exactly but like that's you know kind of like as he grins what, <laughs> but like you know as but when before, i was younger like, that's what yeah. like i was so self-conscious about was my big lips and and my full eyebrows because all get, the girls you get teeth. Dude, how yeah, much like, of a lie is that teeth. though yeah that guys just have i mean uh, there's generally similarities between what guys like but it's never changed what's changed it is like the whatever whoever's popular a celebrity exactly. they're the ones that changed the idea but i know as a kid what i liked it hasn't changed i'm now 32 it's the same thing that i've always liked i think it's changed for me has it has it for yeah. you guys like it what for me. like I'm what uh you like well, like physical, i'm talking about physical features only not like personality and stuff but like when i see something and i've always thought as a kid i'm attracted to that it's been the same since yeah like for me i think kind of like anna said it was probably like skinny blonde girls when i was younger but now it's like, I don't know. It doesn't really matter as much, but I almost like don't like skinny blonde girls. Like that's the opposite of what I want. Gotcha. Yeah. Cause I think for me, I think it would change. Cause I remember like in junior high, just like what you, what you see in a guy like for me, you know, if like I watch a lot of rap and stuff like that, I was like, oh, this is like, you know, the type of girls that are like hot, you know what I mean? So it's like, oh, this is cool. Or this is how you approach a chick and stuff like that, you know? And I'm like, dude, that's like, you shouldn't even do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, that's how you haul out a girl or whatever. It's like, but it's like way, it's like, damn, dude, it's like, it's crazy that like, uh, that was like, I guess almost the normal standard for guys back then too. You know, it's like, like this is hot, you know? Cause I think there was like, 
I was really into like skater chicks for a while when that was kind of like a thing, you know? Yeah. Levine. And then goth girls, you know, I thought they were scary too, you know, but I thought they were hot, you know? I actually do like the, I've always liked the goth aesthetic. Yeah. And I think maybe it's because it looked forbidden, you know? <laughs> like, just, are we talking like goth goth or are we talking like hot topic? No, goth? like aesthetics, just not like a full, if it's just like, I don't have a soul. No, no, <laughs> that, not for me. Um, just like fish. I just like the, like the idea that yeah, like, almost like the, pale uh, skin with like, yeah, the fishnets, the weird hand stockings, whatever those are, those gloves yeah. that go up to your elbows. And then like the dark eye. I don't know why, but still to this day, I do find that actually kind of attractive. All right. And, well, ladies, he's single host, hot boy, summer, TK. Hot boy, you. summer. Okay. Yeah. Hot boy, summer. Girls. 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 God, girl. she wishes children upon me <laughs> oh god girl. javi let her know that children should only be in marriage wait what javi's lost they, yeah, he's, he's not even like, focusing um, no, javi's thinking like, about what he was into in high school <laughs> yeah that's what? what i was really thinking about i was like wait what was i into yeah what were you into javi damn bro i think i liked just Girls in general, like as long as, long as they were like hey, wrong answer, answer. Come on, like, whatever I could get. <laughs> wrong answer. Uh, no, 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 what I could get, but like <laughs> my my likings like varied. I didn't have like a specific like girl I was searching for. You know what I mean? Especially you, Jose. You should know. There was like like some certain blonde white chicks. There was like another brunette girl. I don't know. I can't. I don't want to say names, but. But I don't know what you're gonna say. You know? <laughs> yeah, so it was girls. You know? Yeah, so like I, I don't know. That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> I was like, uh, fucking Oliver Twist over here. I'll take what I can get. More <laughs> porn, please. Stuff, please. Uh, <laughs> Cause I remember, dude. I used to love boobs. Cause that used to be the thing. You know, it's like boobs. It's just like, oh, boobs were like so cool. And now it's like, bro, I don't even like. See, that's like, been the same even... for me. I've always preferred the booty. Always. Huh? Yeah. No, for me, I used to remember like everything on TV was boobs. You know, Pamela Anderson, true, yeah. Baywatch, the girl from Freak Leak, Shanika, <laughs> Monique, you know? That girl, she was so yeah. hot. You know, but it was like always just like about boobs and that like died out. And it's like, so that's what I'm saying. It's like, dude, was that just me getting programmed? Like, oh, this is attractive. See, but now it's like all about the ass. Right? Yeah, but now like, it's fake, everyone's though. just like, it's big, about the fake yeah, ass, like, is, I mean, yeah. Brazilian flowers. Not about the fake Shout out to the, just kidding. Yeah um but it's still about the butt yes you know? it still is yeah, it's, it's definitely still, still in because yeah. i don't know if, if boys if we had to go through that you know you don't think we'd be hard if we have to switch our bodies oh we're, <laughs> not, like, we're not doing it though huh we, we're not doing i mean no i'm just saying like if they if like the if roles, the roles were, were worse completely I'm, yeah, getting brazilian butt <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or something like that you know <laughs> calf implant <laughs> <is> true, you <laughs> know <laughs> And then the next year, they're not even cool. You no, know? Like, like, <laughs> put him in my bicep. Dude, next thing you know, you have your back turned to your campfire have, and your calves are melting you, down your legs. Have you seen those guys with like the injected biceps and Yeah, what's it called? They Some like people, Popeye. they do oil. They put oil in there. They, I don't know called? what they put Anthriol in there. Anthriol or it's a weird name, but it is hideous. Neanderthal. Neanderthal. Yeah, and they start getting the... That's you a know? nice name for it. Neanderthal? <laughs> yeah, because people with the smarts of a Neanderthal. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. Inject it. And they're like... And they're not even strong. I've seen them work out. I'm like, no. I bench they more just than look you. Like and I don't... an average dude with <laughs> yeah, like yeah. inflated arms. They won't look like Papa, you know. They look like yeah. they're hiding a couple melons under their arms. Just disgusting. <laughs> they watch too much Popeye the Sailor yeah. Man, dude. But they're not eating any spinach. <laughs> Your women are built like olive, though, and that's pretty gross. <laughs> Did you, so you, so you, did you ever change yourself, like growing up? Like, what were you like before? Would you say? I was like a fucking Justin Bieber bowl cut. In like junior high and high school, that did you ever get it. neck pains from swinging your head to the side so much? Or no, no, but I did do that a lot. <laughs> you would do that, I, <laughs> dude. I forgot I could, about that. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that, homie? No, because I never did it. Good for you. <laughs> no, but I'm saying with like, oh, like, like when the, we were in the school, dude. Kids, yeah. yeah, and that was uh, always the thing. You were like, like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's how they got people. That was their mating call. <laughs> yeah, i thought, never had the hair to do it but there. i've seen it so many times i know what they yeah. do yeah like that like we were all buzz cut all the time because we couldn't afford nice haircuts i would do buzz cut or if it was longer i would just do the braids that was it those were my two haircuts so but what was your image when you were younger you think i always had like a niche rock aware uh fat farm always the the urban style is what people yeah. would call it yeah 
See, like I like urban style, but then I would but I would do polos and like button ups too, because I Jay Z was my all time favorite. So I would rock like you know the jeans, but then with like the polos, I look <laughs> like a LOX or a Rockefeller music video in school. Because I used to like that the same stuff too, like that. But yeah. then I would also like weird shirts, you know. Yeah. I would go in there with the orange shirt and like red red pants or red shorts, you know. No, I didn't do that. Something weirder, dude. No, Were you those like colorful skinny jeans, like? You or me? You. No. <laughs> No, 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 because I don't think skinny jeans were a thing. When were skinny jeans? Skinny jeans thing? were a thing, like, at the very end of me like being Like, we were almost, like, yeah, we were, were almost graduating. Like, it was uh, half of junior year and a senior year, skinny jeans were I think that was, like, junior high for us. Yeah, I felt like, yeah. Um, yeah, for us, everything was, like, super baggy. Basically, it was start, what's starting to kind of get in again, you know? Ugh. Yeah, like, if, if winter was freezing over, I could cut <laughs> off my pant leg and still have enough for a blanket. Oh, yeah. And, and that shit would suck. Your yeah. pants back then? Yeah. Did you guys have those pants or no? Dude, so. in the middle of summer, you just have weird sweat sloshing through your pant leg. Because <laughs> no. it was so hot and you were sweaty. But it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, your pants, they fucking suck, But you dude. would tie and cinch the bottom, remember? To your ankle? Yeah, you could tie so you could them. you or... off your shoes. Yeah. What'd you use to tie them? You would just use a rubber band, okay. or you, or you could fold it. Technique. Yeah, you had like a folding technique that you could make it like look nice, yeah. like tighter. Yeah, so yeah. you you basically fold it and pinch it into itself, and then roll it up twice or once would be good enough if you had a tight like. But God forbid you have to run fast, you know? Because oh yeah, then it would the, loosen itself. You see it go, tss, 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 <laughs> you know, and then all of a sudden, like, <laughs> dude, you would step, and then you feel a draft of air time. in your leg, and it was uncomfortable because <laughs> you were not used to it. But yeah, pants were the worst, dude. I remember uh, when they started making like the tapered, like the ones that you can get now, you know, like the jeans in general. And I was like, dude, was so revolutionary. So many options. Like I was joggers. Like, yeah, joggers. Tight at the ankle. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? They have these many. You can buy these many jeans. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't know which jeans to get. Yeah. Because we used to just, just buy one style. <laughs> yeah. And now they're like, what do you want? The 501s, the 527s? Like, what oh. are all these numbers? This is athletic. This is a slim fit taper. Yeah, the slim is, uh, fit, the slim skinny, cut. the skinny. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, all this stuff. Before, you just like, the, you got some big ass ones or it was boot cut. That was it. Yeah. You know, so it was like on, only two types. It's like boot cuts. I can fit fucking snow Stimpler boots under this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but those are like your two options. And socks, they have to be no shows, you know? Yeah. You either had. Cause, so, like ankle socks yeah well like ankle just, socks no ankle socks were big that's like the quarter socks is what we well are you wearing them right now yeah no show socks yeah so like that okay because ankle socks to us at least i don't know about you were what we would maybe you call them quarter socks. i don't even know if they exist anymore but they come up just right past your ankle yeah and then you had the crew like socks right which were the normal ones that would come up like halfway to your calf or whatever yeah uh no show socks became really popular like when we were in middle school era but like, if you what are the it, if your parents what are the ones that go halfway up? Crew. All right, so that was popular in high school for me, but I still wore the no show. Yeah, that became popular after we left yeah. high school. Unless you were like, and they just got longer and longer. You yeah. know, no, unless yeah. you were a skater, or a baseball player, usually those guys wore those for some reason. Uh, mostly Caucasian folk, but uh, for us, it was no show. No, I just never showed your socks. When you have hairy ass legs and you have hair sticking out of the sock, that's when you wear the no show. <laughs> Oh, I wore so many. You've seen my. Uh, I don't know if you've ever. You've probably seen my shins. Maybe you never noticed, but I'll show you. Uh, I wore high top so much that it it literally wore out like the pores on my shin where I don't have hair on my shin. <laughs> like, and then you'll see it start like right here. You'll see them. <laughs> but that I wore high top so much that hey, I just don't have hair on my shins now. On at least the bottom part of it. Yeah, but so there's some science for you. Yeah, like socks, dude. Like you would get made fun of if you didn't have nice socks. Like that was probably one of the biggest things they would teach yeah, you. Yeah, so about you would how. like fold your sock into Push your, your shoes so it wouldn't show. Yeah. Uh, so so sometimes, so I had my mom would get me the ankle socks, mm -hmm. and I would wear them halfway down my foot so they didn't show. Okay. And I was like, that was like that's probably like the worst feeling. Yeah, it is. Yeah, my feet were always your, so uncomfortable. It hurts your feet. But I was like too self-conscious you to... get blisters and stuff like that no i just like i would can walk a lot yeah but that was for me it was just uh like you felt cool when you had like you finally got those socks for christmas you know it was yeah. like a treat dude and i would like tuck your, my laces inside my shoes so that the knot wouldn't show that was big too that us. was uncomfortable too <laughs> yeah i've got socks rolled down so i got like a bump at the bottom and then i got a bump at the top with my laces. yeah huh. <laughs> and then you wonder why you have foot problems yeah. <laughs> you got a bunion, maybe that's, that's why, why i don't yeah. say yeah. you're you're putting off circulation now. to your feet 
The God, things we do dude. for beauty as men. What about you, Anna? We were talking about <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about beauty hacks, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, styles yeah. that kind of you evolved out of, or like you know, styles that you Eyelashes. used to wear. Ooh, dude, Eyelashes. that's a good one. Yeah, I would have to say I did go through a phase um, at work where I would do fake lashes like every day and fucking glue that shit. Did you ever get I'm scared when you saw one? You thought it was a spider? No, I was just like, <laughs> I can't fucking see your eye. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, I mean, it's. I think, I don't know, there's something about them that just made me feel like a bad bitch, so. I, I can see that, though, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like you just kind of, there's just things, I mean, it's just like makeup, right? Like. There have been a few times, though, like, where I find it on the floor in the condo, <laughs> I'm like, what is that? <laughs> have to look twice, make sure it's not a bug or something. What's another one? Gosh, lashes is a good one. Mm, one thing that I did a ton in junior high high school was i would like poof the back of my hair to give it a little bit more like volume and then you fucking have whole ass knots in it mm. um, do you do a we not weaves but uh hair extensions or whatever no i actually so i've never done hair extensions i actually am probably like one in a million where i prefer my hair a lot shorter this is actually the longest that i've had it in freaking years so um I don't know. I can't. What was the other thing that you asked me the other day? Oh, if I've ever gotten a spray tan, never have gotten. You don't gotten need a spray I didn't actually tan. ask her that. Would that. Be weird. Because yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, and I was like, I knew girls that got spray tan because we were following a car and it said like twenty dollars spray tans on the back of the the window. And I was like, I knew you a few about girls. One? No, but I was like, I knew a few girls in high school that got spray tans before dances, and I was like, I wonder if Anna ever got one. And then I looked at her and I was like, Oh no, she has. <laughs> That's a dumb she question. Be playing blackface. Come on. Yeah, she's like, you're, you're looking a little pale, Anna. Have you ever thought of tanning before? Dude, when she got sunburned for like the first time she was peeling and she was like what the fuck is this <laughs> did you get scared yeah you were peeling? i was like white I problem i've <laughs> never ever gotten a sunburn until i think it was either the last year or the year before we had gone to the lake um and i know wear wear sunscreen put your spf on but i used to never wear sunscreen just because i was like immortal yeah immortal. i don't fucking need this shit <laughs> yeah, like, the sun. i was yeah. powerful <laughs> <laughs> exactly she was still wearing lashes <laughs> yeah, and now you've fallen from lashes. grace <laughs> and i have i've fallen from grace and i got my first sunburn fucking took a shower and i was like why does my body fucking sting right now off, like, I'm <laughs> melting. yeah i was like skin was peeling i was like this is fucking awful this is what do you guys you ever remember the stupid through? headbands that were like really thick and they had flowers but they were like hand knitted oh, oh for the shit. chick ones i, I did those wear, I and wore those. boots those are the two things i've always hated I, the most. I, I, I like can, those in the winter i, hate the, I, the can I say hate the uggs Blech. never owned a pair of uggs so but i did have those headbands and I, what it. was the other thing? Um, those Bermuda shorts that were like plaid and they like went a little bit longer. Like the capris. Oh, yeah, yeah like kind of like that. Capris. Yeah. Okay, I now those. all the Karens wear those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the senior <laughs> citizens. Yeah. Yeah. I saw them at the anti mask protests. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I wore a lot of vans in high school or toms. Toms was also. Oh, that was Tom. Oh, yeah. That's all I yeah, toms. really loved wearing toms. They were the freaking best. Yeah, have they fallen off? You don't see them as much anymore. I, don't, I really don't. Hobby still has them. Don't you have me? <laughs> Do you still got Probably toms? still in the closet, but like. <laughs> Do you wear socks with them? Did you say that about people that buy toms or the toms are in the closet? <laughs> no, the toms are in the closet. Okay. Um, Why not? Would have, you would have to, with those, you have to wear the no shows because. Like but you would so wear tight. socks? Yeah. I feel like everybody I knew didn't wear socks when they wore I mean, toms. Uh, I did not. And but they were the little tiny like socks. They were like the ballerina socks. Yeah. 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 yeah, they wore those. You know, I could not do that. Same dude. with boat shoes. I don't think those are as popular anymore. Boat Remember boat shoes? shoes? Oh, I used they're to They're like wear the those top too. side, top side or Sperry's or whatever they're called. Uh-huh. They're the ones that have like the. I like, know what you're talking about. Okay. They go like here through the side. Yeah, and they're, they're flat like, out the bottom because yeah. the idea is on the boat. Some of those are pretty fire. Some of those have no, cool some look nice. I just don't see them as much anymore. Yeah. 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 Went out of style, you know? Mm hmm. God. But it's something. Ivy League schools, but. Something yeah. that didn't go out, out, out of style, Hus. Mysteries. Know? It's mysteries. There's a couple of mysteries. What mysteries do you have for us on Reddit? Uh, the mystery of the day for us is uh, what's your favorite non sexual activity to do with your partner? Smash. 
And he literally means Smash, Smash Bros. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the sink. <laughs> I was thinking more like potatoes, but I was like, oh, man. that works too. That works too. What so, are you making? I'm making a Smash Potato. <laughs> so that's what you like? Smash Bros? Yeah. Yeah. Star Fox? Or yeah, but you don't really play, play, you just watch him play, right? She'll play oh, with I'll me play sometimes. sometimes. She'll, okay. she'll play Villager. And I'll fucking and she'll get, Oh, yeah, that's right. You told me that. Um, yeah. yeah, you'll just like hold A and I'll get like jab yeah. locked and I'll lose my shit. Yeah, I play uh, the villain. And then bruises follow. <laughs> JK, guys. Truly. <laughs> to, this, to the Wii no, fighters, but okay? Hannah's anemic, so she gets bruises so easily. And she's always fucking joking around, like, family and friends that I'm That's beating not her. good. <laughs> I mean, it's funny. But, but then, like, do you remember, I think we were, I think Lola asked one time, because we went, <laughs> yeah. we went river rafting, and she can't swim, and we were drunk. And she hit lots of rocks, so she had bruises <laughs> all over and she was joking, and she's like, yeah, Nico gave them to I me. Didn't... And Lolo was like, no, no, not Nico. But how'd she get them? <laughs> like, how else did you get all of these I fell bruises? down the stairs, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got to I use mean, the we live on the one. third floor. There's quite a bit of stairs that, you know, just happen Dude. to be down yeah. the way. <laughs> you have so many random bruises, but you are so clumsy, too. I got mm. jumped by a bunch of toddlers. <laughs> you don't know how to swim, for real? I don't. I don't know how to swim. No. I've tried before. Um, and I think it was just because I, I don't know, I was very, very thin when I was younger. Like, I had zero... Yeah, you'd probably sink. ...fat in so my you, body. No, she floated easy, so she didn't have to learn. Yeah, so I, I couldn't float. Oh, you I couldn't just, float? No, I couldn't no, float. She was very, very skinny. I was, like, skinny, skinny. Oh, so if you're skinny, you can't, you sink faster? Yeah, so, like, the more fat you have, the yeah. more buoyant, buoyant you are. My, I'm the most buoyant guy here. My mom fucking lied to me. She said I was a good swimmer. Come on, you know. <laughs> you said to just hold me on fat. Come on, Dude, you're you know? a good swimmer because you had to cross the Rio Grande. Okay, <laughs> you're Mexican. You know? You're supposed to. Swim. I just floated on there. If no you way. couldn't swim, you wouldn't be. She here. floated on my back. Come on, <laughs> you know. She'd like a surfboard. Yeah, she's like you're gonna be my life uh, raft. Yeah, you know she mean? was the fucking lady from what's it called, the Titanic. Yeah, I was the fucking. You're the good. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be like a good yeah. MythBusters. Could you use like a dead body to float with, like as a Dude, that's well, a serial killer question. We're going to pretend. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a survival if you were, question. Yeah, if you were on the Titanic and somebody was already dead and you saw them floating and you couldn't swim, could you just like hang on to them and survive? Oh, if you were already floating, dang. Well, you would think know. so, right? Well, I don't know. Doesn't a body float after a long time because it, it uh, remote reverse osmosis, so it like absorbs so much that it becomes buoyant? But that would take well, days. Like the gases, Not right? Through. Like the Maybe. gases in the body. What if they're just a really fat corpse? Well, hey, I mean, who knows? Then you're just gonna. Then they'd be alive. Shaming. They would just be bobbing <laughs> up and down like shaming. a seal. Yeah, how would they have died? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they froze to death. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> you're fat shaming. You're in the Caribbean. They're not gonna freeze to death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fat shaming. I'm using science. Dang, dude, I would. I would want to do if I was like drowning. Maybe I'd do the. You know how sometimes I don't know how to even do it. You like jump in the water and like your shorts get like like bubbles, the bubbles yeah. you know? yeah. like that how do you do that on purpose you know what i mean yeah i don't know how to do that like you just make it. sure that there's air pockets yeah, so the moment like you jump in I, don't know. I used to do it all the time because i thought it was funny <laughs> oh really yeah you just make sure <laughs> push it there's out. air like between your thigh and the pant and you hold it and then you just jump in and then there's an air bubble and you can like push it and then the People bubble would come you're out. farting yeah <laughs> See, I, I, maybe I need to try it, huh? Yeah. Float a little bit. But what about you? What's your favorite uh, sexual activity? Not sexual do. activity with your partner. Oh gosh, what do we do? Brunch. Dutch Bros. Gosh, we go to walk Dutch Bros. Dogs. Walk dogs. Oh, probably hang out with our dog, Cal. Non-sexual activity. I don't know. We don't really do much. Watch TV. We do watch TV. We watch lots of anime. I guess that would be. Watch anime. TV. Yeah, watching anime or whatever movie series or tv series we started nice last season of demon slayer was really good yeah it was what movies are you guys into are you guys into marvel and stuff like that uh we did do marvel for a minute yeah she started watching them like all cr chronologically mm -hmm. probably watched like 10 movies yeah holy cow we did do that um what have we we've been watching a lot of rom-coms lately okay. like uh what was the last one that we watched? How to Get Away with Murder? Silver Linings Playbook. <laughs> no, Silver Linings Playbook. How to Get Away with Murder? I did watch that show for quite some time, but that was before he and I got together, so. You changed her. I also listened to a lot of, like, true crime 
podcast. You did? I did oh. for a very long time. And you became paranoid because and of I it. And I did. I did. I said, host, I leave too late. What if I get snatched up? What about you? Stuff that I do, oh, let's see, non-sexually? Yeah. Oh. oh, we go out to eat a lot, too. We do. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I would say that. I like going out to eat. Yeah. I like going out to eat on the weekend. That's like my thing, you know? Like trying new places. Yeah, I always want to try a new place. I also, I also like to take my dog on walks like to the park and stuff like that on weekends. And then one thing I started getting into is thrifting, you know? Yeah, my but are you doing this with your partners, though? Huh? With a partner? Oh, like with a partner? Yeah, well, not, that's the if question. If we're not having sex? Yeah. It's different for us because we're single folk. But let's say if I'm dating a shoddy, you know what I mean? Yeah, or yeah. just previously. Or if it's a, it's a fling, you know, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so if it's like that, then it's... And we're not going to do oh, sex stuff. Probably eating out. Uh, I'm not a fan of movies, so I can't really... I, w I went to watch The Matrix with somebody, you know, and that one was... My phone fell into the... The abyss. <laughs> it was like one of those uh, electric chairs, you know, like a the recliners, yeah. <laughs> and like the thing that holds the metal, like the mechanism, the little slot. It fell in there, like inside of the metal bar. Oh. So I would, I couldn't like get it out. So I'd like, dude, it took so long. It was like the whole movie, the whole Matrix, basically. <laughs> you just spent. I was your like phone sitting back. there trying to take my phone out because it was stuck in that little crevice. In the Matrix, it was stuck. Yeah. <laughs> And then the movie was horrible. Like I still, I missed the whole movie, and people still hated it. The people that were watching it's it. It's the fourth one, or whatever the one recently came out. Oh, uh, Revolution yeah. or something. Yeah, I never. Resurrection. I haven't. We tried watching Resurrection. it. Resurrection. We tried watching it at my grandma's, but her Wi-Fi was too shit. Yeah, and it kept cutting out. I haven't seen any of the Matrix movies. It was so either. bad. Like, like you literally like I fell asleep, and I still knew what was going on. Like, it was like nothing. It's like a movie about nothing, basically. Uh, so I suck at movies. Let's see. Uh. Sometimes I'll do like a hobby, you know, it's like, oh, let's do a painting or something like that. That would be pretty cool. Like, I like doing that, some sort of art. Um, and I think that's it, dude. That's Probably cool. like something art. Go to a thrift store or go to a thrift store with somebody, you know, find something weird, you know, look at weird things. Uh, oh, and driving too is pretty cool, you know, somebody's like, oh, yeah. yeah, going out like for a drive. We had similar taste in music, so we listened to music together for a while. Yeah. Oh, that is pretty fun to listen to music. Nerding out. What about the powerful one? Um, I'm not into shows right now, but back when I was taking dating a bit more seriously, I'd watch like a show or two. Yeah. Yeah, that. Um, I always am a fan of like walking around in the park. So that was a big one, and it's like a joke session, kind of like when you just bullshit and shoot the breeze. I do it all the time with any of my friends. Tickle that... people. What? Tickle people. No. Unless I have consent first, but so I what? Mean, just row somebody and stuff like that? Yeah, you just just joke around, like riff off each other, like tease each other, see how like thick your skin is. <laughs> if they start crying too how quickly, how is it getting a gauge for everyone just, by doing that? Yeah, I, I do. I, I really understand. Like, like eh, I don't want to be around you. Will you I be able to be jokes. friends with this person? Yeah, yeah I think that's a, it's important to me. So that's actually something I've realized I've done when I've uh, dated someone more than like maybe th past three to four dates. And I feel comfortable because I told you about the experience with the social justice warrior I went on a date with. Hey, we, watch it, okay? My my barber set me up with one, and I to be fair, he didn't know. And I said <laughs> one of the mildest jokes I've ever said. Like I'm surprised I didn't say something worse. And they were baffled at the joke, and they're like, "Oh, that's bad." And I go, "Yeah, that's the point." And she goes, "That's I don't like that." And I go, "Okay, thrilled. that's fine." I'm like. This isn't going to go anywhere, to be honest. And You have to be careful in 2022. Well, oh, this was back in 2017. So she was ahead of her time. Yep. She yeah. was cheating She's the algorithm, you know? Yeah. Maybe somebody from his company, you think? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> or from his school. You know? Yeah, Sorry, she was. was the algorithm. <laughs> That's I dated the algorithm. <laughs> and it wasn't happy with me. What about you, Javi? What do you do for fun? With Cynthia, non-sexual. I want to say we go out to eat a lot. To get dessert? Yeah, because you don't like entrees. Who's Like, when did that start? Like, I Every eat regular food. Yeah, but you don't like it. <laughs> you eat I don't like have it. To. Dude, go back to every episode we've ever asked you about the restaurant you've been to, and you're like, oh, I won't front. 
the entree was like whatever but the dessert or i'm not gonna hold you the food we ordered i try to do that, that to <laughs> not oversell you guys <laughs> oh to keep he the restaurant a secret, about huh? the dessert forever you know? yeah, yeah he's like but the dessert it was because well, i have a sweet tooth though <laughs> yeah. yeah so i would say dude if you just went out to get the desserts i would think it would be pretty fun you know well, of course yeah you'd be dessert's like hey really you want to go on a dessert date well you know? it makes it cheaper too. eat at home go get a dessert go to oh, gourmandies or something yeah you know, get a couple soup some plates, ice cream, you know? wherever Gelato. it is you get your desserts from. So what else? Have you eat out? What else do you do? Um, he's like, eat out. I thought it was non-sexual. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, uh, dude. Since I can't remember, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> since I had a baby, we don't do anything. <laughs> well, that for, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, you don't like taking out the baby, you know. Oh, well, I guess it's been winter, It's been huh? cold, yeah. Like, I don't really... You can take him out on a stroller. Dude, Javi, you can take him. You can put him on... You can get a bike. You know, and get that little thing for the baby on the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've been wanting to do that. Like, uh -huh. But... But you need a bike with one-sided pedal because your other knee's not going to work. <laughs> it's going to be an, an electric bike. He's going to know the bikes that you have to pedal with your hands. <laughs> the ones for disabled people. <laughs> yeah, the ones you lay down. The ones that go like this. And they're like, what's wrong with you? Like, my knee hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, an amputee's waiting for his order. He took the one before him. Hey, sometimes you just got to get that, pay that extra money. But... Dude, I don't remember. Like, we would travel, like, at least four times a year. We would go out, like, to Vegas or L.A. or or Colorado or and stuff like that, but... Shopping, you would always buy a new wardrobe on vacation. True. Let's yeah, see. that's true. But it's usually in Vegas. Because the there's nothing the much to do. The most expensive place to buy outfits. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Balenciaga. You were going to the swap meet. Come on. Give Did you ever yeah. gamble together in Vegas? No, actually, neither one of us gambles like at all from the catholic so have you ever tried it or you just no i've never tried it i never i don't know how to play cards I, well we would we would do like the machines and stuff but that's about it slots suck dude yeah they really do you lose money so fast so quick he could never figure out the algorithm <laughs> <laughs> dude I didn't have, when, we were in vegas, when we were in vegas i was hitting my pen a little too much and i was playing electric roulette and i thought i had that shit figured out the algorithm? It showed like track the it? history of everything. Like there were like four <laughs> or five reds, right? I'm like, it's gonna hit black. I'm gonna bet extra here, and I hit it. I'm like, this is too easy. <laughs> so you figured it out? I thought I did. Uh, <laughs> I, I was you vibing. Lost, yeah, <laughs> you're actually in the negative. <laughs> no, I did really good. He did really oh, good. Dang. He actually. I like. I turned really... like forty bucks into a hundred, and mm -hmm. I was very conservative. And then I sat out for a bit. I watched my cousin. I made some guesses. I was like, man, I can still be making money. I hopped back in. I made like another $100. Yeah. Nice. He actually mm. did really well there. But yeah, gambling together is fun too. Yeah, we do gamble together. Until you lose enough. And you guys play like cards or so what, what are you? Uh, uh, we usually stick to roulette because you can drink with roulette and not suffer the consequences. You don't have to think that it's hard. It's not a thinking game. Yeah. yeah. We were playing 21. Like, no. Well, that's something I never like doing. Ever. Basketball? No, it's like board games. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Drinking and playing class basketball. <laughs> 21 I, I have, I have done that. It's not a good experience. But uh, board games, I never like board games. Dude, I wish I liked board games some more. You know what I mean? Yeah. The only board game I ever liked was Pictionary. Yeah. That's actively the only one I would be like, yeah, I'm good with playing that. Other ones, I'll play it just to appease people, but I don't like board games. I feel like we've started getting into board games lately because his family's super into them. And so I'm My like, mom's side, yeah. yeah. Like, my grandma's always trying to get us to play board games, and Anna's really into it. She's bought a few of the games that we've played. Yeah. We've only yeah. played them, like, once, and she's like, Nico, let's get this. <laughs> yeah. And then you never use it, you know, but you <laughs> yeah. have it. Dude, I've done that, too. Totally. I'm awful I played a couple games, like, dude, that game was so fun. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, yeah, because a lot of people were playing it, yeah. you know? <laughs> And now it's the just like us fun. two. Yeah. Get yeah. my ass I've beat already like... beat you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, how many times have you beat me? You know, like twice, and it's not fun anymore. Not that kind of beat, guys. We don't believe in domestic <laughs> violence. <laughs> but, it used to be my king. It's not anymore. <laughs> I used to really. You like beat me it. one too many times. <laughs> I raise my hand. Something else raises. <laughs> we we were had a we had a discussion. I think it was last week about bef how long have you guys been together? Uh, uh just kidding. Uh, a little over three years. Three years. So, what was like some of your first things that you would do 
like when you first started dating because uh you know how you, we were talking about like what like complicated uh dating yeah. or like dates yeah you know how you first try to be like super fancy or try to do like so what was like what would you do first that maybe you don't do as much now um we would just go out a lot more often but i feel like part of that not happening as much was covid yeah but like i was definitely an introvert and she would go out a lot whether it was like any type of of event or going out to eat we would do that a lot and i would never do that before then what about you mm. She probably, it was probably the same for her. She was just taking me along to do shit that she liked. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it was really rough as far as like, I wouldn't say rough. I would say this relationship is probably a little bit more different just because of the pandemic. I think we weren't able to go through that like honeymoon phase that everyone's always just like, it was literally like we got together and then we moved in together. Yeah, like, like we after. moved in <laughs> within like a year and then COVID hit and we were in the same room in, in our office every day for like two years. Yeah. So she's like, she's been my coworker basically for the last two years. Yeah. We're working like six feet apart from each other. It's she's in a meeting, I'm in a meeting. COVID. I'm like, can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> that was like the movie that they yeah. made, you know? Yeah. <laughs> No, they're gonna make but, a movie about that do i wonder if that helped you though because you know how some people after the honeymoon phase because they look at everything through rose-colored glasses yeah. and they don't realize the reality of things and like yeah i don't fucking like him yeah how much like you her. hate the yeah. person once you move because together. you didn't have that you had reality from the get-go you're still the guy i think that's a good sign well yeah, yeah when we're apart we're like damn i missed you it was only like <laughs> it was only like half a day but when you yeah. spend that much time together it's and now your dog's missing you right now as yeah, you're here truly, bullshitting. He's, fucking he's too lonely. Yeah. You can check on him with our cameras right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, I would say, I don't know. I feel like there's not really much that we don't do that we did when we first started dating. Maybe shopping. Yeah. She likes to, to shop. I don't like, like to shop. shop. Yeah. So like, I'll she can go shop with her friends and have a good time because usually i just get honorary when i go shopping yeah he hates crowds i think that's probably like the only thing it's just yeah, i just get irritated shopping. i want to be in and out and you're like i want to look at everything yeah and that's why i take hosts with me shopping <laughs> so you hate like going to the mall you can't go to the mall yeah i just like i can't be out and about for too long i'm just like i don't know if i'm too introverted or what like it's fun to go with friends occasionally but if we're spending like hours and hours at different places i just get wore out you then you like you're burned out for the rest of the day huh Maybe yeah and then like week, then i'm like, oh. then i'm making the time shitty for her so like God, just yeah. enjoy it with your friends we're triplets basically huh quadruplets i guess yeah huh? it depends on what it yeah but yeah like shopping i'm pretty definitive like i'll go and she's sticks in one spot because she only wants one store so i'll go hit the spots and then we'll meet up later or whatever but or we'll go look at the same things pretty quickly Mm -hmm. we used to go uh brunch was a big thing for a I while and then we would go to brunch. what's the park we would go to uh liberty park because yeah. of all the dogs out there Shut see all the park. dogs and longboard around and the homeless nice. i know <laughs> there, hey. is there is there still a lot of homeless now they just they they're, they're still out. now they're in the drum circle right that's what they call it yeah, yeah. truly I don't you know? know they're beating on their own homes yeah. but, <laughs> <laughs> but no they booted a lot of them out yeah, out of uh, that park, right? Yeah. I remember I went there. It was like, dude, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's a nice park. Once yeah. there's you know, like, there's people always people were running. LARPing. People were larping's there. Yeah, I haven't seen larping. Yeah. Every time we would drive by, we're in. You see somebody that has like the the like Not an actual somebody, sword. Like, they look like a us. group of like twenty yeah, or thirty truly. people. Because I've seen some here, and dude, they had like like real swords. Yeah, like they must have weighed like forty pounds. I'm like, dude, you guys can actually hurt each other with those. <laughs> Sounds right? like a fun <laughs> hobby. Well, <I> mean, <laughs> You also see like a bunch of kids there too, like kid kids, like six, seven, eight, kind of just LARPing around too. Maybe we should start a LARP, you think so? We should start a LARP. You guys are already halfway there with what you're wearing. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Half of these hoes already have the sword. LARPing. Here's the other one right here. Guys... <laughs> yeah, we are live action role playing all yeah, the time. All the damn time. Yeah. You, you look right up there. See that mask? The wig, yeah, Magnolia. <laughs> so, you, so you guys would uh, uh, what is it called again? You guys would LARP? No, 
You wouldn't? You always yeah. acted like you were interested. You could be so. You could be like Jay. Yeah. I think she just was only going to see what they were doing. Watching. Yeah. You that could be like the watching. evil one. You have a good like. You know. You could be like the Voldemort? like Poseidon. Yeah, Voldemort. You know. <laughs> you don't think so? You would be I a good so. like a uh, like a villain. You know. Medusa. Oh. <laughs> Doctor Evil right now. If, if anyone played Medusa, that's basically you just freeze like, tag. You just scream at people like, "Don't look at me!" Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't. Don't look at me. They, they, they have to turn it. into stone. Yeah, it's freeze tag, basically. Dude, that would suck. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh. <laughs> everybody's you, just walking around, staring at the ground, <laughs> and she leaves to do whatever she wants. Everybody else has to stay in character <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> through rain and snow. Well, that's it. Hold yeah. some advice, or we're, we're, how are we looking at, hubby? Nah, well, I mean, if you guys want. Oh, we did. We did have a couple things. Remember? We do have a couple things. Uh one of them, you know, for, is to celebrate your heritage. Yeah, one is know? to celebrate your heritage specifically. Um, so obviously, if you haven't heard earlier, he is part Italian, part Greek. We couldn't find that, so we had to make do with a, a bit of a what do they call that? Compromise. Okay, so you want to go ahead and show him what we got? Uh, Rarity, so we find antique we stuff find that you, gems. yeah, that that you can resell for. Vintage. So you know we're gonna get you the first one to celebrate your heritage. This is a DVD. Well, it's not a DVD, but Anna would dig this. She likes Ireland. You can put that it to the camera. The Irish force. We show the camera real quick. Pretty close. <laughs> yeah, I know. I told you. Ah. It's. There and it's go. never been opened before. It's mint National condition. Geographic mint Romantic condition. Okay. Where did you guys find this? Oh, we got Yo, our we that, got connections. Like Secrets. Dallas. We got our plugs. The horse is kind of chunk. That horse is thick. You know, it's hey, a stallion. That, it's actually a mule. They wanted one for their <laughs> wedding. <laughs> this is the video that we're gonna play in the <laughs> background. <Yeah. laughs> Oh, that would be so cool. Yeah. <laughs> With the VHS. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they gotta fucking rewind it every time. <laughs> Huh? Where'd you get we just know we just know people we in the horse community. No, the horse Connections. community. Yeah, we do. Yeah, because we do a lot of uh stuff about animals sometimes on the Is on the podcast. Video tape. Yeah. It's, it's a, a VHS. Yeah. VHS. VHS. Video home system. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask my parents. You've never seen one? It's like in uh, this. This. No, uh, I have. I, just, I was gonna say. <laughs> I haven't seen one in a while. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, and that one's brand new. So you're gonna be the first one that opens it. You yeah. know. All right. National Geographic classic. Ballad of the Irish Horse is a romantic <laughs> of man and animal for viewers to treasure. <laughs> what is it? It's your <laughs> gift. <laughs> hey, when she goes shopping, you can have fun watching it, okay? Like the video that you watched of yeah, the lady who just the like. girl making out with the wolves. She just oh, like yeah. left her mouth open and just like. Yeah, you sent that to me. I was disgusted. All over. Yeah. 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 Want to bring your mic closer? Oh, yeah, shit, uh, you're good. No worries. <laughs> Um, and then for Anna, we know that the, I know you like watermelon <laughs> and <laughs> especially when drunk. <laughs> yes. And basically we have Alice who isn't here today. Shout out to Alice. Yeah, shout out to Alice. She has a watermelon you, farm Alice. and that's one of her products is watermelon, uh, chapstick oh, from Alice, the nice. ice agent. Thank you. Okay. And then we got another, a couple other things, you know, cause they're both into getting facials. Yep. You know, Taking they're going to be watching the. <laughs> They're going to be watching the horse DVD. Yeah, you, know? you want to keep your skin nice and smooth. You want to make sure your beard doesn't get all scruffy and gross with beard dandruff. So at the same time, we've got some uh, facial cleansers for you. God damn. His and hers. <laughs> you can pick which one. It's 2022. Yeah, 2022. 2022. Yeah, I never said which, which color is which, but you guys can pick. <laughs> oh, very nice. Thank you. No yeah. way. You know. It's very awesome. And it doubles, since you're going to be watching horse videos, it doubles as a horse horse toothbrush. Electric yeah. horse toothbrush. Yeah, we'll okay. <laughs> if, you <want> one, <laughs> if you want one area use, it can help you clean up the Oregon Trail. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> hey. He needs that. Fucking innovator. <laughs> Exfoliate my butthole. <laughs> There you go. Dude, he's gonna have the <laughs> nicest butthole, dude. Yeah, that's gonna be so smooth. <laughs> Anna will just chef kiss it. <laughs> Fuck a uh, bad day. Where was it? Oh, was it? A bidet. <laughs> a bidet. <laughs> Fuck a bad day. I got the bidet. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> we'll just have to keep some shampoo next to the toilet, next to the like air fresheners. 
<laughs> squirt some on there. We'll, we'll Pretty soon those bristles will be brown get, and get some white and pink. conditioner. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make it real smooth. Do some turtle wax. It's got a nice sheen and glitz on <laughs> turtle wax. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's for you I guys. I wonder if that works. That's awesome, thanks. You could wax you. yourself, like with turtle wax. Well, with something equivalent, you know, maybe like the stuff <laughs> equivalent. Yeah, dude, something like a uh, like oil, uh, like, like a chapstick, and you chapstick your whole body, like a lotion. Have you, you guys ever up, applied like deodorant on your whole body? Yeah, as a kid, Engineer I was an idiot. Did you get itchy? You yeah, because I had sensitive skin, so it's like the <laughs> alcohols in the fucking deodorant like made my skin itch, and I'm like. Telling my mom, and she's like, basically, say, you fucking idiot that goes under your armpit. That's it. Yeah. And yeah, I thought you did it whole body. Yeah, I would do that like after weightlifting in high school because I was a really sweaty guy and I didn't want to shower in front of everybody. So I just like oh. all over. And then in my next class, I'm like, Jesus. Oh, I was seven. They thought he was on girl. <laughs> no, I was, you know what I mean? I was no, you're ass. fine. I get it. Yeah. No common sense. It's because they, I don't think they had axe. That was already. Oh, yeah. Axe was the massive prime. for us in our, like, axe really? literally I came out. the same deodorant I have now. I was gonna say, I feel like Axe was a pretty big thing because, like, as soon as I would get out of out of gym from like the girls' locker room, the guys' locker room was right next to us, and it would just fucking <laughs> wait. Yeah. I was like, damn, like, helping global warming. Huh? Yeah, fuck the environment, dude. <laughs> Maybe that we were sick of these fucking winters. We we want no more winters. Here. <laughs> dude, I wonder like if that caused any damages. You know, those type of the odorants. Dude, middle school boys our age. Basically, our generation depleted the most amount. Well, you guys put it straight to your chest, you know? Now you found out it's got, like, lead and stuff like that in, uh... You know, in deodorants, that's what they say. Formaldehyde and shit. Yeah, you're like, then no wonder he's all itchy. Yeah. <laughs> he was spray, <laughs> spray painting lead on himself. <laughs> Unleaded? Nah, dude. No. You know? It's fully leaded. Javi used to be the axe guy. He used to be the plug, Javi. Yeah. But he also had bod, didn't you, Javi? What? Bod? Bod, B O D. Do you remember those commercials? No, like I don't remember being an. Ex they were guy. hypersexual. I want your bod. bod. You never remember those? I do. I remember, do. That. I remember yeah. those, but I don't remember being an ex or a bod guy. I had Old Spice. Old Spice. Old Spice. Yeah. The guy on the horse. Yeah. Shout out to Harry Cruz. <laughs> and Muhammad Ali, or whatever that guy's name was. He died, didn't he, Muhammad Ali? Yeah, he did. R I P. But the other ex guy, his name is Muhammad something. I just said Ali because it was pretty convenient for me. Well, now, now I use degree. We try to use Tom's, but it was... Tom's suck, man. Tom's, I feel like when you go... Because I tried going like the natural route with those deodorants. I can't remember what one I used, but I was like... It was worse, rash, huh? Like, that's what we said. Yes, we said the same like, thing. Rash, and apparently like that's normal, though. Like It's your body like releasing toxins and stuff. Uh, and so, that's like, not true. But, like, my like, skin... Skin would peel like it yeah. was bad. It was just like all red. It's yeah, like, you it couldn't even like put your armpits yeah, down. Like I'm gonna bust four. a myth real quick, real <laughs> like right now. You cannot release toxins through your skin. That is the fact. That is the fact. Yes, you can. <gasps> like that's what your kidneys what are for. You your pop liver. A pimple, bro. What about when your does sweat count? Yeah. Well, sweat's just like uh, out of sauna. Like, it's water and uh, salt, sodium. But that's releasing it, right? That's not a toxin. Like when you go, when he got too lit, you know, at the party, and then he goes to the sauna the next no, day. No, that's dangerous then, for you. And he that's stinks so dangerous. much. You're dehydrating you know? yourself. Well, he goes there, and I go in there, and it smells like freaking... I promise you, look it up. You, you do margarita. not release toxins through sweat or your skin. That is a dangerous myth. I will leave it at that. So I can't, that is my whole advice. I can't sweat out alcohol? No, you cannot. In really? fact, it's worse because that, technically you're dehydrating yourself. And if you're not getting rid of the alcohol, you're increasing the amount of like the your blood level. Your blood of level of alcohol. It's super dangerous. Hmm. They've busted that myth many, many, many years ago. But you don't do that, huh? You don't go to the steam room or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, not intentionally. Uh, when I picked her up <laughs> off the ground, it was a steam room. Maybe that that's was... why he doesn't like his grand, uh, his uh, your mom's uh, restroom because it's so hot. Yeah, bad memories. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, I mean, the restroom also, like, that restroom, it's just, it just gets hot because just, it faces the west. Also, it gets and sun so, on yeah, it. yeah, like, when the sun sets in. it's just a small-ass restroom. Small-ass restroom. It's not that small. No. You're just... I don't know. It was just a hot little room. He's just fancy, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's got the walking wall separate tub, <laughs> Dude, separate no, 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 toilet. Like, <laughs> he's taking a shit with a little fan with a mister. <laughs> like, I, don't know the, I don't know if the toilet or the spot was too you know small, mean? but I'm just like hunched over and it's just like, it's not pleasant. Oh, okay. And then it's hot and it just gets worse and worse. It sucks. But, well, maybe you 
Can you guys tell us something personal about you guys? Like your bad habits, maybe? Really Dude, quick? he shared with us about his butthole quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, well, that was pretty good. Pretty no, personal. Just yeah. like a fun fact, you know? Okay. I wanna... Fun fact. You go first. Something that, you know, it's like... So maybe if you had to describe yourself to somebody, you know what I mean? It's like... Uh... Hmm. Can we tell each other's bad habits? I feel like we do a better job with that. As long as you guys are okay with that. Yeah. You guys want to do the things first. you hate about me, and then we can do the things that we hate about each other. <laughs> sure. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Go ahead. No, you go first. <laughs> I already got one for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I you're gonna laugh at them when I say. <laughs> I might regret um, this. I think the biggest thing that bothers me about you is he'll so he brushes his teeth, but he'll spit in the sink and he won't like rinse it. Also, you're the person Fucking. in the bathroom, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, when you were saying that story, I was like, "Fucking this guy." Right here. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's like the biggest thing that, because then it like gunks up the sink and it just like is, is a little gross. So like, if I'm like in there after him, I'm just like, <laughs> like with water. With like, water. Yeah. That's a good one. That quality. But, he's trying to keep the pipes clean, huh? But yeah, I think that's that's the only like thing. No that other I'm pet peeves, about. you know, like uh. Things he does to harass, you He leaves you know? the toilet seat up, something like that. No, he's actually been pretty good about, uh, he leaves, he puts the toilet seats down. My mom, so he's been pretty good my mom that. has, like, instilled that in me. Yeah, so he's pretty good about the toilet seats. Um, I mean, he does laundry. I would you said the probably, way that he does laundry? No, he does laundry now, but I would have to say, like, when we first started dating, I was probably like, yeah, this was... guy's fucking incompetent, like, can't do She's not wrong. Shit. My mom did everything for me. <laughs> yeah, and so he's come a long way. He does his own laundry now. <laughs> so before what, you would just, like, leave it in the thing? I didn't even know how to use the washer. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I, like, I would help my mom fold laundry, but for, like, actually washing clothes, I she showed me... Like a couple times how to do it and I forgot. And his folding techniques, how are they? They're pretty they're good. Yeah. I I do like the trifold on my jeans and he's like adapted to it, so What the hell is a trifold? Like where you take so you you fold, fold your in jeans thirds. in half and then oh, you fold it one and then yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's how that's And how she I folds her jeans. shirts backwards. I don't know how to explain it. Mm-hmm. Oh, so if you're going like this, she does it. Yeah. So like, I in. would like if this is a shirt laying uh front up, I would fold she it brings like it this, back. but she folds it like that. Oh, so okay. she wants the tag like visible sticking out basically. Did you watch that on TikTok? No. No? I think it's just how it's I just always how she does it. that shit. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, I don't think like Maybe he, you know, he he drives fast or something like that. You know, he's no. Uh, I would. I feel like I would have to like. He would have to do something as I'm doing it for me to like remember. Because most of the time, like it has to be done. Like, oh, I guess another thing is like if I'm in like freaking, like if I'm cleaning or if I'm doing something and I'm like hyper focused on it, he'll like want to come and try to fucking hug me, and I'm like, bro, I'm fucking trying to do this shit. <laughs> you need to quit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need your love. Yeah. Right now. Fuck your affection. I'm focused. I don't like. It's just like I'm. He's like, trying to be... appreciate you. You know. <laughs> yeah, like I'm just like trying to for, like. <laughs> she's like get like, off wipe me. down the floors or like cook or something. <laughs> and, like... and then later she's on IG live. I just want to be appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I don't think I have. I don't. I can't really remember or think of anything right now that like. Anything else? I'm sure he's got a fucking shit done. She fucking clogs the drain so bad. Oh, <laughs> with the hair? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like last time I unclogged the shower, we didn't have to use any drain out. It was just all her fucking hair right underneath the drain. Just clumped? Yeah, it was so much. Dude. Just so much fucking hair dude that's the worst dude, part about living the smell with a girl. is what gets to me like when you when you unclog it, it and, and there's you, like that, and there's that like cottage cheese you know it's like, yeah, it's <laughs> like yeah, it's spoiled milk. Bad. Yeah, pretty gross. That good. Oh, ever ever since earlier? I had COVID, though, I, I like haven't regained all of my smell. I think mm. so. I'm like always relying on her for shit. Yeah, he'll like call me into the laundry room. <laughs> like, does like, it smell like? Because like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> you have to say like, both hey, of us. Like, shit, like I'm gonna be the one that's like hu- inhaling and huffing this shit. She's walking like, around <laughs> with a <the> fire alarm <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> He's like a dog who had perfume sprayed on his nose. He just can't smell. Oh, I'm lost. <laughs> it was like a blessing for a little bit though. Like if yeah, he'd spend fucking instead of you know his normal 20 30 minutes. It was like fucking 45 to an hour in the bathroom. <laughs> 
<laughs> or like Cal, Cal, Calvin, our dog, would have really bad breath, and I, like I couldn't smell it during then. So I just like it's fine to have his face right in front of me. Yeah. Uh, so that's just it, just the hair. Oh, uh, I mean, there's other stuff, but go ahead. Let she, said, she said she said one thing about me, right? So we'll just keep it. Go ahead. We said how Let many? You have two things, didn't you? What things. are the two things you said? I said. The spewing the thing, spitting in the sink. Okay, not and, rinsing uh, enough, and then the not affection rinsing. while she spoke. Yeah, I'm so sorry for being. <laughs> I'm so sorry for being so. such a good boyfriend. <laughs> no, like, so her pet peeve is also my pet peeve. Like, I don't rinse stuff well enough, but if we're doing dishes, if there's any soap on anything before drying, she gets so pissed off. She's like, "You need to rinse that still." I'm like, you can wipe it off. No, you gotta, you gotta rinse. I'm with Ann on that one. Yeah, like, what about you guys? You, you, you have to rinse the that. soap off before drying? Yes. You dry it with the soap on? If it's a little bit, I don't like go out of my way to make sure all of the soap is rinsed. That's well, why you have dysentery and have shits everywhere, <laughs> like all the time. You're ingesting soap. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, because then what if it tastes like soap? Because that's happened to me. Like, you dry a, gl a glass off like that, and then you put water back in the glass, and then it activates a little I'm bit of I'm talking, like, soap. bottoms of pots, like the outside of pots. No, you have to. My OCD doesn't no, allow me to I, I think <laughs> I think I'm with you. If it's, you know, if it's, like, a cast iron one or I something like that, it. or, like, a, a pot that I use a lot. Yeah. I know I'm going to be cooking on it, like, right away. Dude, I'll leave it. Yeah. It'll right. age a little bit Se better. Second one is she takes up a lot of space. <laughs> She's like, woman sp uh, you mean spreading. Like, <laughs> you mean woman spreading. <laughs> what do you got to say about that, Hoppy? What? Nothing. What do you no, mean? Like, my you wife's mean just, like, too, her habitation? You know? <laughs> like she like it's just every space is hers. Is that what you mean? Or physically, like when like, you guys are sleeping, like, she like, only like, has a little like, bathroom. The condo <laughs> is like seventy thirty hers. I, yeah, it's true. But then, well, but that. you'll learn that the yeah. hard way. Yeah, that's but how then life that's is. Like <laughs> Once you're married, it's you just worse. have to accept it. Yeah. But I'm making it a home. Yeah, because that's the thing. You know what I mean? Or, or, or it else sense. it looks like this. It makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but like, it's like, and I talk, like in the office, for example, we both have our desks, right? Yeah. And so the room is like this with the closet. And she has, like, if it was an equal relationship, we would each have one half, right? <laughs> You're gonna start, that's when you start taping the walls. And no, we might like... need to. Because we each have our desks, right? That's all I have. That's so funny. She's got all of her shit on this side and on this side. Yeah. And but to be fair, I, I like... have, like, a small path to my desk, and then everything else in that room is hers. That's because I had a lot of my art stuff in there. Like I had my art oh, so she gets like an art painting. studio in there too. <laughs> yeah, and... what if I have a pull-up bar? <laughs> <laughs> you also have your not even on the floor and you know the outdoor stuff in there too. You have stuff in that closet as well, though. No, it's all you've opened up the floodgates, Jose. <laughs> hey, we're airing it out. It's, it's therapy. Yeah, yeah, it's good. And then the table as well. I mean, I don't know. She's the one who gets everything. So, like, I can't really complain. Like, she'll go shopping for stuff and shit. But, like, <laughs> my mom was a clean freak. And so, if there's, like, anything on the floor in my room, she's like, you're not a fucking pig. Like, pick that up. And then, like, Anna's always got stuff on the table. So, I'm like, I can't work here, dude. It's not clean enough. That's, how I was, that's like, how I was raised. Yeah, that is weird how that uh, carries on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I hated cleaning, too, when I was growing up. But now I love it because it's like I I was always doing it, so it's like I feel like I have to. do it. It's what you were used. It's to. It's like for your mental state. Like yeah, if it's not it's like, clean. You're just like. And I hated it growing up, bro. But it was like I always like, oh, you're gonna clean today, like clean, clean, clean. And I'm like, clean, clean, clean. <laughs> you know <laughs> why? <laughs> as your hands are dipped in Clorox, as you're wiping down the walls. <laughs> so why? <laughs> and you wonder why you have osteoporosis. <laughs> Your yeah, bones are brittle. That's, that's a good one, dude. I forgot about you know generational curses. You know that yeah. thing, your parents. Thanks a lot, mom. You know, it's a good curse to have, though. Cleaning. Yeah. Yeah, but sometimes you don't. You wish you wanted to just take a day off of not being like. Yeah, like if my mom's like, you gotta dust your room every weekend, like dust your dresser and shit. And I'm like. Uh -huh. No, I don't. It's you gotta dust the blinds. You know, you're like, what yeah. The fuck? And well, that's why I say wipe the walls down. That I did that every week, every week, and oh. I'd have to oh, clean you have the to walls. Wipe the walls. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Now I throw, <laughs> I'll throw the dog ball through the freaking hall here, dude. My uh, <laughs> my grandma 
hosted a wedding for my aunt and she had so my mom gets her like cleanliness from my grandma and my grandma was hosting a wedding for my aunt and she lives in nevada in the desert and she had my mom vacuum the cracks of the sidewalk outside where we were having the wedding (laughs) that sounds like the beginning of holes (laughs) (laughs) every weekend my mom would tell like i thought my mom was bad but every weekend uh my grandma would have all of the kids like clean the whole house before they did anything yeah oh that's what my mom maybe you might be mexican (laughs) you might be a mexican that's a super ethnic thing yeah that Uh, was my mom and i think that's like i mean I feel like my mom's chilled out quite a bit more as of like late, but when I was younger, like Saturday morning, she'd wake me up before I could even like eat breakfast. She'd be like, "Clean the motherfucking bathroom." That's why I love Saturday cartoons because I'd get up and my mom let me. She like she was okay no. with it, which I was okay. I would watch my maybe anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours of it, and then I would clean. But I always cleaned well, so she was okay with it. It was a good trade off. Yeah, no, my mom was like, "You fucking clean this bathroom, or else you're not getting fucking fed." <laughs> like, love my mother just <laughs> she's like and that's Thank why you. i was so skinny because <laughs> <laughs> i would never clean your, your allowance was your she's meals like, that's the reason i can't swim yeah, she's like i couldn't clean because i didn't have nourishment <laughs> to clean but i didn't get nourishment because i didn't and clean the, it's a vicious cycle. and then nico say yo it's anemic you know what i mean yeah he's like <laughs> she's got anemia and shit <laughs> just, or whatever it is you said maybe not quite like that oh. But do you think it's our turn now? Yeah, you yeah. could go. Uh, no, you start first. I want to know. Well, because I want to get inspired. I don't know <laughs> you want to get inspired by me? Yeah. You know, know, like how hard to go. <laughs> honestly, I can't say that you've annoyed me. Because that's what I was thinking. Is like, I, can't, I honestly things. can't think. Like, you've never annoyed me. And you've never annoyed me either. And Javi's never annoyed me. Like, back to what Nico said. Because Nico knows I, I judge people based off of... Like, <laughs> if I've decided I'm not going to enjoy my time with you, then I, I'll cut you off before I get to a point where I'm like, this bugs me this bugs me this but unless i absolutely have to be around you like if it's a choice i won't be around you hmm. like i don't have to be around him specifically other than this podcast but i'm doing this podcast because i'm okay being around him hey come on they put it a little that's bit the nicer only okay? reason <laughs> you piece of shit okay, there you go you don't like how i word things that's how you uh you get annoyed. no i like how you work things thank you i understand how you work things uh let's see what other weird things maybe things that okay maybe things that i think that people uh, would think that you suck at is probably that you know the conveying feelings yeah like because you know how he can come off like really like dry sense of humor or really brash you know like almost mm-hmm. like oh dude you're being a dick you know but he's not you know it's like i don't know for me it's refreshing it's nostalgic yeah so that's like, <laughs> it's for- like back to the days of modern warfare 2 lobby <laughs> <laughs> so for me that's like completely normal right so yeah. like that's like that's like why we're friends you know because it's like super normal but i know for other people and I think maybe that's why we get along, because like I, yeah. I rub people off too, like because I'm kind of weird, you know. You, you have to pay though. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, no tugs, okay, guys. <laughs> Don't get ideas. Come no on, hugs huh? for tugs. I'm Straight like, cash. <laughs> Anna has a lot of cash on me. Rubs for hugs. Rubs for hugs. Rubs for hugs. He says he does it for eighty bucks, guys. Eighty dollars. So. <laughs> you know that eighty dollar holla? Let me know. Damn, we I'm trying to pay 40? off the fusion. <laughs> <laughs> we get a discount for both. I'm trying to pay off the car, huh? Can we get a discount for bulk? After you watch the horse DVD, right. <laughs> there's a coupon inside. It's like a conditional discount. There's yeah. a code word that Morgan Freeman says on that special yeah. you're going to have to use. It's like two hours into the film, there's a sentence you have to memorize. Yeah. It's just in me, a cut's over, you know? Congratulations. Yeah. You've made it to where you get the you can cash. Discount. You can cash in on your discounted tugs. So oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> for I think things that people can I guess feel uncomfortable with you is like if he's silent, you know what I mean. But sometimes when we hang out, we don't even talk to each other, you know. But that's like normal to me. Like we wouldn't even say a word. I'm just like We've doing spent, something. Like, three four hours not talking in this like. What yeah. do you do when you hang out then if you're not talking? I'll draw or like start painting. Uh, he's working on music or something. So just like in each other's presence. Kind of like we'll start like we'll show up and like discuss what we wanted to accomplish and then we just go our separate ways and just do it while we're around each other that's sometimes nice though like i think that's kind of when days like when we're busy at work like if i'm in meetings or i have to like set up for trainings or something and he is actually like focused on coding like it's kind of just nice to be in like the same room because most of the time i feel like at one point or another either one of us will like leave the office and work outside 
just because being around each other 24 7 is just like damn um but then there are those days like where we will work in the same office and we accomplish a lot and i feel like like those are kind of enjoyable days working it was really nice at the start we would like take breaks and just like hang out with each other for a little bit and but then, then two it, weeks i don't know we're like fuck this no shit. i was like <laughs> it's like six months in and i was like i don't know no, you need a break because even my dog, you know, at first he was excited that I was here. He would come, you know, work here. And then like now he like doesn't even want to see me. You know, he's that's like, kind of how our dog was. He would uh, he would lay down under our desks like every day. Yeah. And now most of the time he's just on the couch. Yeah, or on the bed. Chilling. Yeah, now it's like his couch. I don't even get to sit on the couch anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I mean? yeah. I'm in his living room, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's funny. But what, what would you say? Things that are... Uh, Maybe but misconstrued or from you, or maybe you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm trying. I mean, because it's so similar with how it is. Um, maybe people would get annoyed. I mean, we I kind of saw it in person because he's an introvert, kind of like me. We very we're very selective on who we interact with. But if he wanted to interact with a complete stranger, he'll chat up with them for an hour or half an hour, and then bum that person off of someone on someone who didn't want to <laughs> talk to them. It happened a couple weeks like, ago. Like introduce when... hose to someone and yeah. like <laughs> talk him up or something. Person. Yeah, not specifically. You got a picture of her. You got a picture of him. Yeah. But yeah, he, he, he I knew where you were You'll laugh when you see the person that I saw. He chatted up with this person for like half an hour, and then bums this person off on someone we were with, uh, and that person wasn't happy about it <laughs> because now it's like their burden. <laughs> but like, it was this weird lady, dude. So I was like. It's like a person right I here. took a picture with her. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and this person had like a lot of issues that had yeah. not been resolved at all. Crazy. Her, some of the her, craziest her stories. Her husband liked it in the butthole. He was ex FBI. You yeah. Know what I mean? And he left her. She was yeah. single now, you know? Yeah. She's a mom. <laughs> well, a, a grandma too, not just a mom. But you're an introvert, apparently. Well, yeah. yeah, well, remember, introvert just means that you tend to like being by yourself for the most part. It doesn't mean you're incapable of being in social circumstances. It's not your, your preferred thing. So, like, when you're saying you'll go out with her, right? Because, like, she makes you comfortable or whatever, you know? But you, like, you're cool just chilling, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But you're, like, even if you're not talking, but you're hanging out with her, it's like, you're still having fun even if people don't think you're having fun. Does that make sense? Like, you're still there, you know? It's like, oh, there's still something that you're out doing. Yeah. So, that's, like, for me, I'm just, like... I can go out and not, you know, seem like I'm not having fun, but I'm just like, if I'm just like sitting like people watching, observing, yeah, that's like, that's like fun for me, you know? Oh, that is, I feel like both of us enjoy that. Oh, I love people watching. She's like the neighborhood Best watch. <laughs> she, yeah, she's yeah. like, yeah, these people rent this condo. This person just moved out. These people have this dog. Yeah. Mostly because we have, in our that. office, we have a window where we can see a lot and she's just constantly snooping yeah so i like to do like celebrity lookalikes you know so i like go oh, somewhere yeah, yeah. i'm like let's see <laughs> what famous people we got here you know and then we start making fun of people like oh this is so and so and blah blah, blah you know or we'll take pictures like i took a picture with some random guy he said he i told oh, you it was mike rock. tyson oh mike tyson yeah, yeah it didn't look yeah. anything like mike tyson at all <laughs> but uh keep in mind this other guy is like i wouldn't say he's drunk 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 but he had a couple drinks and he walks up, he goes, hey, man, he goes, hi, super nice dude. He goes, hey, you look like Mike Tyson. Mind if I get a picture with you? And the guy just super nice. Sure. <laughs> didn't question him looking like you Mike Tyson. He would have like a sign like this. Or yeah. yeah. Oh, like, well, one of the things I guess you can express. Uh, did you tell Javi the story when we got ramen today? On the, the You said, I just got a taste of what I do to people. Oh, so... Uh... So there was, oh, we were, this girl, what was the place called again? It's Virginia. The Virginia. Place. Virginia. So we, we go out there and like the, I was kind of, I like the, like, uh, service people. I like having a fun time with them, like waitresses or waiters or whatever. So we're, you know, we're just like talking and stuff like normal. And then I told Hoss, it's like, Hey, you should ask her if they sell seppuku or harakiri. If they have them, if they have it on the menu, <laughs> you know? <laughs> And we were just like so excited for her to come back, you know. And he's like, like the he's like, by the way, do you guys have a uh, seppuku or harakiri? And the girl's like, no, we don't. I just turned around and left. <laughs> no, she's like, yeah, we don't serve that. Yeah. But that's like an answer I would give because so he almost started laughing, and we ordered the food. She walks away, 
And he goes, she literally did to you what you do to people. Like, <laughs> you don't even, it's like, basically, I don't fucking, yeah, I'm not. You don't follow up with anything. She's like, yeah, no, we don't. Like, <laughs> yeah. sorry, nothing. Like, like, it yeah, could have no, been something don't. like, well, what is that? Like, I don't know what it is. And maybe we can make something similar. She's like, yeah, we don't have that. <laughs> and just like, turn around and left. You know? <laughs> she kind of like, blew you off. Like, <laughs> yeah. She probably knew exactly what you were doing. And she's like, no, fuck this guy. <laughs> it could have been. I never thought of it that way. But. <laughs> yeah. It's like this piece of shit. I've seen hoes fuck with waitresses too, though. We got hey, breakfast. Breakfast. We got you, breakfast thought, and Draper in yo, this. Yo, there's a difference, okay? Do I have like my way of teasing? Non-sexual, you were having fun? Yeah, it was like joking. Was it non-sexual? <laughs> yeah, it was non-sexual. No, no, because no, uh, didn't the kid drop a ball or something? That wasn't the waitress. That was another, that was Somebody a customer. Somebody dropped a ball? What do you mean? <laughs> that was a customer. Ball dropping. Was it? Oh, it was yeah. a customer? Yeah, it wasn't the waitress. I, I was, I like, I don't like being rude to waitresses at all. In fact, I like joking with them because I think they have a good time, right? Because they're like, oh, they probably don't laugh a lot because people don't interact with them. So I like doing that, but we were at what's it called i call it tupac it's Penny 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 cafe. Cafe. yeah because yeah. it's P-A-C. Pac. yeah <laughs> but i just hear like a bouncy ball just like roll under and i see it and i'm about to pick it up but the woman was like already behind it and she like goes and um i think the guy we were with lolo picks it up and gives it to her and she goes oh thanks and because it was dirty because it was on the ground i was like yeah just put it in your mouth and then she just kind of like paused and looked at me and then just <laughs> turned around and everyone at the table was like super uncomfortable for it but i didn't care i think the most uncomfortable moment that i've ever had with you was when we all went to uh oh i know where you're coming lucky, lucky 13. 13 yeah and we were sitting there and the waitress comes over <laughs> and hosts us is that a nepper titty tattoo? And we thought he sort of asked her, is that a titty tattoo? And we, everyone just sat at the table and we were just like, and the waitress even thought she was like, what did you just say? And he was like, is that a nepper titty tattoo? Yeah, she had a nepper titty tattoo, right? Like the Egyptian. <laughs> nepper titty. Yeah. yeah. And okay, so, but it. everyone heard titty tattoo. Yeah. Oh, we and so then but she challenged me like just I do, and which is funny because she goes, what did you ask? And I go, Nefertiti tattoo. She goes, "Oh, like she immediately <laughs> relaxed. You can tell she was milk tense. and clean." Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, uh, you were like cringing. Oh, Sam was cringing. I was about to leave. I was just about, like, they you just know all what? Went Take like my this. card. I'm just <laughs> dip out. Yeah, but that wasn't on purpose. Like I was just no. at. I was just saying, hey, it's a nice tattoo. But, I had that ooh, situation that when we picked up Macan Macan, and then the Asian guy was about. You to said it right shoot. now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I said that I wouldn't, but. I haven't called it mock and mock and anymore. Yeah, nice. But anyways, we're leaving and we're basically pulling out and this Asian guy was Whoa, like, letting it go. <laughs> That's on top, dude. Relax. Hose <laughs> uh, rolls down the window and says, stop Asian hate. <laughs> <laughs> he was making love and pulling out, you know? Uh, but okay. yeah, there was the Asian guy who was saying crossing. <laughs> I rolled down the window and just go, stop Asian hate. And he goes, he just speeds up and goes, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> start rolling up the window. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. but that's it. You think that's it? Quick calls on the bias or what? Yeah, don't uh, sweat out your a- alcohol. That's super dangerous. Um, just drink water. Drink less alcohol. That's my wholesome advice. I watched something today about uh, having alcohol and weed together. And it's a good combo, but apparently, weed stops you from vomiting. And so if you have alcohol poisoning and you're also super high, you can't vomit. And if you have alcohol poisoning, you have to vomit. So be careful drinking too much alcohol if you're high. Yeah, that's a great wholesome advice. Dude, look dude. at that. Life-saving Fucking advice over here. Fusion oh, right here, yeah. I didn't know he was a doctor too, dude. I thought he was just a PETA. <laughs> <laughs> With a T, not a D. <laughs> what about you, Anna? You got wholesome advice? Uh, wholesome advice. Or any sort of advice, you know, it doesn't have to be wholesome. Love your body for what it is. <laughs> I thought you were going to say live, laugh, love. <laughs> live, laugh, love. That's what's Go on the wall. Go to church on yeah. Sundays. <laughs> making sure you're repenting for your sins. No, I'm just kidding. Um, wholesome advice, just, yeah, I think after uh, our conversation, I kind of thinking about it a little bit more. Don't give in to the, the norms of of what people like nowadays, I guess. So I would say it doesn't matter what you like. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nobody cares, okay? <laughs> so the only person that matters is you. I mean, if you're doing something that affects somebody else directly, then, you know, obviously that's rude. But at the end of the day, like, 
if you're happy with yourself, just do whatever makes you happy. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then Javi, he's going to be the closer. <laughs> Dang, Javi. Mariano there. Rivera right there in that corner. Of the Marriott. Um, I'd say, dude, like, um, since we went to Lake Talk, we found out we didn't have any pictures of us, like, at all. <laughs> That's true. I feel like we should, like, if, if you have a group of people, I mean, I don't know, don't make it a habit or do take pictures of with them because it'll help you remember certain situations or moments make those memories yeah i agree it's you're good at that i'm awful with that yeah. I, I, feel awful. I feel like we, we, none of us i feel like i've kind of fallen off the boat lately especially halloween <laughs> <laughs> didn't we take it for halloween no we didn't no, no never mind i think <laughs> I celeste did though is that when you guys did blackface no, <laughs> dude, I did blackface on Saving Thanksgiving. So okay? glad. <laughs> or what? No, it was Christmas. Cold-blooded mur murderer. <laughs> yeah. I was. I had a spa treatment, and people accused me of blackface. Yeah, come on, guys. But... That's what Nico. I had a peel-off mask, and he was like, "Okay." <laughs> It's like, what are you doing on Jemima? He's like, hey, babe. We were getting it's DMs. So like, is that it's just a charcoal you know? mask. It's the detoxifying mask. But now Again, you found you out. Found it's fake. It's fake. You don't detoxify through the mask. Yeah, I don't. It's not true. You it's don't. nice. It's through good your, for your skin, but it's not detoxification. <laughs> through your butt. That's it. You can detoxify through your butt. That's true. <laughs> or your mouth. Uh, vomiting, yes. Unless you're, you're unless you had too much weed, you know. Yeah, unless you had to, then get your stomach pumped. <laughs> <laughs> and you can do that with a household vacuum. You just turn or on the hose. And, yeah. <laughs> but don't forget I'll, to bleach it, or I'll, else you can lie. Yes, I would go shop vac. You know what I mean? Shop vac, that wet vac. <laughs> it's hey, got that, hey. It's got that wet wet. It's uh, <laughs> Mexican American History Month. Okay, relax. Yeah. Um, did you guys want to plug in anything? I don't know if you have any business ventures up or shout out to your friends, you know, yeah. the coders. Plug in whatever, shout out whoever you want. Uh it's your time to shine, guys. No. Any enemies you hate, you know. Uh, what I mean? Just wishing the best for Ukraine. Everybody I've met at work who lives there is awesome and they're all great people, so I hope the best for them. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank Who's you for it? coming through. It's uh, nice to have you. Shout out to you guys. Thank it's you. Yeah, it was a nice conversation, class. you know. Yeah. To have like a couple, it was it was a cool conversation. I like that. Yeah. I'm excited. I like. I have other friends lined up too. Um, I've already had one before. You guys are next, or you guys came on. He said friends with benefits. I was like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "Well, you know, <laughs> they had uh, they had fully benefited at work. You yeah, guys partake. They have insurance. insurance. You know, they're not stuff. on Obamacare. You know, yeah. <laughs> Obamacare is long gone, <laughs> just like COVID. <laughs> well, Anything else? You don't want anyone to follow you on social media? Just a uh, host two K. Uh, 22 hot boy summer oh, hot boy summer oh, yeah. hot boy summer yeah. well okay you're gonna have to be a wing woman now because something All fell through for me girls, it didn't work out come on out at penny ants <laughs> dude, there's a couple of mama penny skaters <laughs> at penny ants dude there is one waitress actually pretty attractive there uh -huh. i don't know if she still works there maybe i saw her a couple months ago but if she's still there she's pretty attractive which oh. one uh well i mean based on one of the, you guys of know the my names uh, no i don't know her name no. what location the one in Draper. Oh, the one in Draper. Yeah. Was that the one that we saw there last time? She was there when uh, we were eating. Oh, was that our waitress? Huh? It wasn't no, it wasn't our waitress. Our waitress. Oh. Uh, she was in like the back, like cleaning the... I saw her cleaning cups a lot. And then she came in like... <laughs> so she doesn't leave any soap on them, okay? Yeah, that's attractive to me, okay? <laughs> a proper woman. <laughs> <laughs> you heathen, go <come> on. <laughs> <laughs> but she was like back there she helped bring food out but she wasn't like out and about she's like behind the counter all right Whoa, well, okay you know penny and that pro bono i was just <laughs> staring from afar <laughs> hey i i have excellent deductive skills okay <laughs> well actually not always i ask terrible questions at the wrong time but that's another story for another time yeah but that's it anything else javi anything else you need to say anything you need to get off your chest <laughs> no i'm you good. good yeah yeah, we have the BNR corner. I'm gonna be oh, making yeah, a premiere back. pretty soon. Are you gonna plug the other stuff? Oh, hey, relax. That's you know, for OnlyFans. Oh, okay. What about the other other stuff? What other stuff do you have to plug in? The exchange. Or the exchange. What or, are you uh... asking, Javi? Just say it then. <laughs> yeah, Javi, <laughs> just we, say we it. We asked you. You know that a... picture you posted, host, of your artwork. Well, he's oh. wearing one of the artworks, aren't you? Oh, I mean, I guess I could make a page. Without, well, look at that. You now. tore the jersey off, you know? Dude, it couldn't hold he all said, this. fuck this team. They're not for women equality, you know? Uh, incomplete prototype, but... 
Henry, well, I can't even speak. Speak, speak more, please. He has Henry and Germain. Henry and Germain. Um, puppets full of life, full of laughter and love. They live a lot. Live, laugh, love. Right? Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna. They'll give you history lessons. They'll give you uh, tutoring lessons in math. Bullying, social lessons. Bullying. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of role playing. It's basically Sesame Street on steroids. So stay tuned. That'll be on the BNR corner. Yeah. All right. And then Armando, we got the Armani Exchange. You want to tell them about that, Javi? Yeah. Um, Beefy made some Armando Armani um, business cards for everybody. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right if there. you're on YouTube, you can scan the screen and it will take you immediately to a website. Yes, sir. <laughs> and, if, if, and we're not responsible for the content on the website, okay? And try your own risk. And just that. Well, that's like, God, I thought Javi was going to, you know? Yeah. You got me all hyped like he was going to say something cool, you know? <laughs> but I think that's it, you know? So that's it. When do I say cool things, guys? Come on. Quite often, yeah. actually, but mm. just not today. <laughs> I'm kidding, Javi. No, he's not. <laughs> I heard that. But it's, it's the butter pecan. Puerto, Puerto Rican. Rican. Host. And it's those beefy. 666. Six, 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 six. And then the Wizard of Oz. The Omega in the bodega. But not in the bodega. It's Javi. And Sorry, then, it's not Alice. Javi, and then we got the Pita Master. Nico. Nico. And the Pita Masterette. So that would it be for a female? Masterette Anna. Masterette, Masterette Anna. Anna. You know what I mean? But that's it. <laughs> that's it. And uno es mas. Ita de Ita de de mas. <laughs> Subscribe, like, share. Thank you, guys. Oh, and shout out to Larry. God, I forgot about Larry. The Winter Larry. Soldier. Soldier. <laughs> shout out to the Winter Soldier, man. <laughs> Maybe one day he'll win her out and come out to the pod. He was the first white guy on the pod. <laughs>